So let's just see if this worked. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this is fine. All right, this is cool. This is fine. This wait, I didn't even check if the mic is like showing up here. Okay, Bola. Let me make the game quiet. Game louder than Xenoverse? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that means they just messed up Xenoverse's audio really badly. All right, let's see. Hey, people in the chat, hello. I know I'm streaming on the main channel again, rather than the second one, but let me start. This, the, the camera used to be this is where it is now it used to be like yeah where my fingers pointing so i'm gonna keep looking in this direction even though it's not there anymore um but yes as i was saying hello everyone um i see a lot of you guys dropping heart emojis i didn't know youtube added this feature well thank you guys immensely for the hearts um that reminds me i do need to make my own like chat emojis for like members and stuff okay uh where was i going with this I haven't played Breakers in a long time, so I'm doing it on the main channel. Um, and then, like, obviously, like, later Breaker Season 3 stuff will be on the second channel. So right now it's on the main channel. And then next time, second channel, okay? All right, so I, I just wanted to make that clear. Um, there should be a trash can Breakers boss, not gonna lie. I mean, Omega will get added at some point. He is... I swear to God, this camera used to go higher than this. Um, he used to be... Um, no, Omega is like the main... Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I didn't take these yet because I wanted you guys to see how many I've missed. So, um, it starts he here. I didn't even play Season 3's launch because I played the, the beta. No, no green screen. No green screen. I just wanted you guys to see uh, this. I've had this from when, like, I was like, I don't know. W whenever this was popular, right? Whenever, whatever year this came out, I'm going to pull his head off if I do that. Whatever year this thing came out in. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for the $50 donation, Galaxy, through uh, uh, Streamlabs or PayPal. God damn. That's me waving at you, Galaxy. Thank you. Uh, this is Tails. Also, hello, my little brother. Oh, yeah, I still need to play Tails, right? But, um, yeah, I'm streaming Breakers on the main channel today because I haven't streamed it or even made any videos on Season 3 since, like, the beta. So I think you guys at least deserve this. All right. Ooh. I think you guys at least deserve this. And then I'll do it on the second channel. So, yeah. It's time to get mad at the developers again for the Unbalanced game. Now, who knows? I might I might turn it on right now, and I might be playing, like, the best thing I've ever experienced in my life. So, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, the Blue Wind Sonic, for donating $5 Super Chase. It's about time, bro. Steedoj, yeah! All right. I bet you want to stream Xenoverse 1 for $500. Damn, all right. $500 is, is, is obviously a lot of money, and I like that a lot. But the, the stress to stream... Because it... Okay. If, if the current... Xenoverse 1 is more boring than Xenoverse 2, objectively. Because there's less stuff to do as well. And there's less customization. And blah, 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 blah. But, like, if the people who are playing Xenoverse 2 right now are, like, the most, like, desert, bandland, like, raiders, like, Tuscan, like, ooh, mm, ooh, mm, 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 people of all time, then the people playing Xenoverse 1 must be, like, falling into, like, the Doom Eternal Hell. Like, it's just demons and, like, just ghosts and goblins and shit. Just nightmares waiting for you to fall into that hole. So they can rip you apart because they don't know when their next meal is going to come up because no one plays the universe one so they just tear you apart if you if you jump into that i'm very sure so um i already i always said i would i would make xenoverse one videos if they ever announce xenoverse three so whether xenoverse three is confirmed to not happen or it's confirmed to happen that's when i'll make something on xenoverse one um because for now we still don't have any confirmation whether they're going to make it or not Damn, you guys are being way too generous. We're not even five minutes into the stream yet. Chill. Thanks so much, Burning J Gaming. You donate fifty dollars super chests. Just some money. I know this game will make you upset, but just know we care about you. Now, I'm probably not gonna be as mad because it's been like forever since I've gotten the game, so it's not like you know the rage probably isn't just gonna like flow out like a goddamn giant super explosive wave AOE attack. 
But uh, I'm very, very, very grateful for the for the donations already, you guys. You guys are you guys are super nice people. I haven't even done anything to deserve it yet. Chill. All right. Thank you. Um. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just accept all of these so we can do some summons for season three. Um. Okay. Such as level so blah, 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 blah. Okay. I, I think that was just like a cosmetic thing. And this is more tickets. We just need 10 tickets so we can get a 10 summon. So this is Zenny. The next is going to be Dragon Spirit. Oh, tickets. Okay. Usually they, they do uh, more Zenny. Damn. Are they not giving Dragon Dragon Spirit anymore? Oh, they, they are not giving Dragon Spirit anymore. They said, nah, fuck it. You guys want to level up that shit? Just play the game. Damn. All right. Wait, what is that? First mission. I think it's an entrance. First mission. Okay. And this is just Zenny. I think we have every... Yeah, okay, cool. We have everything now. Um. Oh boy, discount Dokkan, yeah. Burning donated 50. I see donations must be an all-time high for me. <laughs> oh my lord. Xenoverse 1 scavengers are insane. Oh, there is a new banner. I was not paying attention. Okay, this is the old one. From uh, season two, right? All these characters came on season two, yeah. What is this gold ticket? That's just for generally like any banner, I'm guessing. Oh no, it's, sorry, it's only for this one. Okay, that's fun. I have thirty blue tickets. What? Where did I get? How many did I get from the thing? I only, I I was I guess I wasn't reading then. I must I apparently there was thirty in the gift thing. I just wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. Um, well I guess we'll just start right. I doubt the abilities are going to be that crazy, but it's worth to at least like see if we even get them. See, do, just do a Xenoverse 2 tier list on stream. I, I think I would have to dedicate an entire stream to the Xenoverse 2 tier list. There's one five star in there. Watch it be like Majin Buu or Frieza. Um, another 200 years, bro. Finally playing mid. Love to see it. What if they drop SJ Pan in this game and say nothing about it? That would be a pretty Bandai move. Um, all right. So let's see. Okay. There it is. There's the five star. It's one that we already have. Um, another five star. It's another one we already have. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, there, there's a new character, Pan. She has full power energy wave and is in normal form. Does she not have any passive or like active? No. Oh yeah, we got a super attack for her, not a skill. Okay, that's yeah, that's my bad. Um, yeah, who knows if they'll just randomly drop an SSJ Pan. Honestly, I'd be down for a Xenoverse tier list stream. Yeah, I think we. Could, I think that's probably better to dedicate to a tier list. Uh, I think it's probably better to dedicate a tier list to a stream. Jesus, that's what I meant to say. Okay. I never really watch this animation in full most of the time. I just skip it. Um, you should summon for Pan and only her because a level three is good. I see. Well, I got um Pan's mom, so that's cool. I didn't even remember her name. I just called her Pan's mom. Uh, oh, I finally got Symphonic Destruction, one of the worst supers in the game. That's cool. I do mean it. Breakers is a game that encourages long-range spamming to a T. So getting something as worthless as Symphonic Destruction is actually jarring. It doesn't help that Raiders have evasives in the game, and survivors don't. They have to f have to unlock evasives. We like paid content or just extreme luck, but I don't want to rant yet. So we're gonna we're gonna take it slow. Um. So yeah, I got Symphonic Destruction. Yippee. Um, and I got a Great Saiyan Man outfit. Is it a form for Gohan? I think it is a form. Yeah, it's a form. All right, I thought it'd be a separate character. No, it's a form. Do I always turn into Great Saiyan Man then when I use uh, my Dragon Change? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Makes me curious on when they add a uh, Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan 4 forms, potentially. Well, that's if the game can live that long. I say that because, uh... For some of you guys who know, Gundam Evolution is gonna is, is basically dead already. It's gonna shut down in November of like this year. And it's like I wanna be sad about what happened to Gundam Evolution. I swear that I swear to god I already had Super Saiyan 2 for Go no else for Goku, never mind. I wanna be sad about what happened to Gundam Evolution, but when I was like looking at the patch notes and like playing the game and seeing the choices for like the DLC and for the characters. Even my goofy ass was like, all right, none of these seem like intelligent or wise or smart decisions. 
So I'm, I'm just not going to play the game because that's not for me. Gundam's not my content, so you won't see me rant about that kind of stuff, right? But the, the Gundam Evolution wasn't making decisions I was happy with, and it didn't seem like they were good. Um, so I just didn't play it, only to find out that Gundam Evolution is shutting down in November. Because, wow, who could have thought that when you don't put in the things that the players ask for, and the game is horribly unbalanced, something like that would happen. Wow, it reminds me of another game. Um, so... You know, who knows how long Breakers has left to live. That's why I'm it's why I'm like, hey, I don't I don't want to spend I don't want to spend any money summoning for anything on Breakers, because one, I don't even make content on it anymore. And two, um, it could just shut down at any moment because it doesn't really do a lot to keep its players in. A good example is Gundam Evolution kept dropping mobile suits from, from different spin-off series. Instead of just dropping if for those of you guys who know the newest Gundam show, G Witch, the most popular Gundam show, the Gundam show that was so good, in fact, that even though it came out like mid, like in the middle of last year, in 2022, that show coming out made Gundam surpass Dragon Ball in sales, even though we had Super Superhero that year or some shit. Um, I don't remember if Super Superhero was 2022 or 2021. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, guys. I'm sorry, but Gundam surpassed Dragon Ball that year. Um, and it's, I think it's still surpassing Dragon Ball this year. Through just overall, like, like, revenue. Just because G-Witch came out and reinvigorated, like, love in the series and made good designs that people want to buy toys of and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's fine, whatever. But, even though Gundam dropped, had a new show that is the most popular Gundam show ever. And it's got, like, designs that people love. What did Gundam Evolution decide the, the players needed for the game? Oh, surely... Aerial Gundam, right? The main Gundam of the newest series that is super popular. No. No. What the players want is... What did they drop after, like, New Gundam? New Gundam makes sense to be in the game, right? So that's, that, that's fine. They dropped, like, Hyperion? He can use shields. Wow, do you know which other Gundam can use shields? And is more popular? Aerial. Okay, fine. Maybe it's taken a bit. We'll just wait. All right. Next mobile suit. They're dropping it. They're announcing it. Who was the next mobile suit? It was like Heavy Arms or something? I wasn't paying attention because after a while, it just became really jarring to keep up with all the nothing characters they were releasing. But afterwards, they were like, oh, we'll drop this mobile suit. And I was like, oh, not Aerial Rebuild, the second version of Aerial? It took... It, it, the Gundam show has already reached the second version of the protagonist's mobile suit, and you guys still didn't even release the first one. But hey, it's fine. This time. This time, you'll get it right. Season 2 has has just aired. What you, what you guys got now? All right. Check this out. Another sniper mobile suit. Okay, now you're joking, right? Like, now it's, like, actually a joke. But, guys, Season 2's ending. They'll definitely drop Caliban before Season 2 ends. The newest mobile suit and the protagonist's final one. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. what Which new mobile suit is it going to be now? Susano! Susano from some spin-off, double O. No one cares. No one likes it. No one no one gives a shit. Susano, oh, he's he's Japanese themed and he has katanas. Whoa. Three of the new most popular mobile suits came out in the span of a year. And you didn't fucking add one of them to the game. It reminds me of when I said about breakers. Oh, why did they release Captain Ginyu? He's a character that generates no interest and no hype. Which would lead to the game dying faster. Because no one's going to get on the game for him. No one's going to buy him. If they already own the game. And people who don't have the game aren't going to buy the game for him. Apparently I'm an idiot for being reasonable. About which characters they should add to keep a game alive. Okay. So Gundam Evolution is dead. Because instead of making a smart... Like aside from the poor balancing right. Z Xenoverse is a good example. Xenoverse has like... The worst balancing known to man. But they at least add things that people want. Sometimes it's things that, admittedly, not the whole community wants. But they add things that people want. At least they prioritized UI Goku and Jiren over PyCon. For fuck's sakes. I, look, PyCon was, like, kind of nothing DLC. And I'm glad he, he showed up in the game. But it wasn't when, like, there was a demand for, like, something new. PyCon showed up when, like, Super Superhero wasn't even announced or anything, right? And we already had DBS Broly. So, you know, PyCon is basically... He's allowed to be in the game. Because there's nothing else going on. So you can put him in the game. Right? You can't have your your new massive big show that outsells Dragon Ball and then just not put the free unique mobile suits 
in in the game. That's just stupid. So I don't know. That's that's what I think about that. Um, oh, that reminds me. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Um, I I feel like a sneeze is coming up. Hold on. Oh, crap. Sorry. That was a super loud one. Don't get me wrong. I love PyCon, but there's better. But yeah, I like PyCon too, but PyCon's not a character that's going to get people rushing to, like, play the game, right? And I think that's what a lot of Bandai Namco games need to understand. It's like, if you're not going to make the game balanced or have good netcode, at least make the game intriguing for people to constantly get back onto, right? Because that that's all you have going for you now. All you have going for you is that you can put new characters in the game. So make sure you put the right new characters in the game, right? Like, God, I, I've already said this a million times. I don't even like Goku Black, but he's the most obvious character to put into the game that would generate mass appeal to get people rushing back onto the game. Like, I don't even think... I don't even think the three idiots have... Well, hold on, I may, I may need to check because I've, I've been kind of, like, slacking when it comes to, like, checking on other people's content. But I don't even think the three idiots have made a video on Breaker Season 3, like, yet, have they? They made... They made Thank you so much, uh, Galaxy, for the $50 donation. And he said, uh, you know, basically give this to Prolefsi tonight. And it's like, hey, thank you. I'll, I'll give it I'll give it to Prolefsi. Thank you so much, Galaxy. Uh, again, immensely. Especially, I'm always super, super, super grateful for donations that go towards my brother. I'm not saying, wow, guys, it'd be super cool if you donated, but said it was for my brother. Then I just pocket the money, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm, I'm actually grateful when you guys actually remember him as well. So thank you. Okay, people are saying Dota Doya has. Well, that makes sense. Do, do, I, feel, I feel like Dota Doya does the most branching, aside from like Serie X doing like playthroughs of like other games. I feel like Dota Doya does the most branching content consistently. So that's fair. But um, yeah, I remember when season two came out with Great, uh, with Great Vegeta. All f I I'm pretty sure all three of them made a video on it. Because wow, even though Vegeta is, you know, Vegeta, a great ape. When was the last time we got playable great apes in a game? When was the last time... Uh, anyone could fight a great ape that was controlled by, you know, a player. When, when it was great apes are just interesting. Even though they're old, like Ginyu, they're interesting. Great apes are in inherently interesting. They're just cool, all right? A man in a spandex doing poses with his boys might be... Hey, I'm not going to judge. It's probably cool. A lot of you probably like that, all right? That's fine. But to me... If I if I need a man in a trap butt booty naked fighting, maybe maybe not in my Dragon Ball game. Maybe just maybe just Goku Black Broly, some easy safe stupid character like that. No Ginyu, all right, all right, all right sure, Batman Amco, sure, 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 just put him in. Who cares? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be like a super Debbie Downer because I don't even hate Ginyu. Like, as a character. He, if anything, he's really just Vess, so Goku can, like, beat his ass. So I, I don't, it's, he's not like Vegeta, where I actively dislike him. Um, but he's just not, like... The the most intrigue Ginyu brings to every single Dragon Ball media for, for existing is the ability to swap bodies. And that's exactly where the interest caps. So, unless if you could do something insane, like... I don't know, let, let's say, for example, like, later, when they add more interesting dragon changes, like Ultra Instant Goku... Maybe then Ginyu will be relevant. Because then you could body swap with an Ultra Instant Goku Dragon Change, right? Easy. That makes sense. Oh, now he's now he'll be interesting, right? Because that's what people care about the most. They care about what, like back in the day when Xenoverse 2 first came out, Ginyu body change trolling videos. Uh, you know, can I win using this person's body? Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Ginyu's biggest intrigue is his body change. So the fact that you have to play as everyone else in a Ginyu Force, aka Lamo 1, Lamo 2. Lamo 3 and Lamo 4, right? Until you finally get to Ginyu, it's like, damn, all right, shit. Like, the hell, you know? At least with Frieza and Cell, I'm playing as those characters for their earlier stages. And Cybermen are just goofy. I'm pretty sure people, everyone everyone is, is okay with Cybermen being a joke character that jumps on people and teabags them, right? And Nappa is like, I don't know, he's Nappa. He gets, he, Nappa gets a clout because he just, like, leeches off of Vegeta. But the Ginyu Force don't even, like, leech off of each other. They're just, like, individually lame on their own. Like, you have that one fat green idiot that can paralyze people and stop time, and he still sucks. You have Raccoon, who is just there so Goku can, like, baby shake him and go, Bro, bro, where's your guard? Like, dude, 
Then you have Jason Berta, the biggest embarrassment known to man. Jace is just like a bench warmer, and Berta claims to be the fastest in the universe, even though his boss and his boss should be faster than him. So I don't know why he still does that. That's never made sense ever. I just, I know, I know you could say, oh, see, that's such an easy thing to beat up Berta about. But it's true. It's such a weird thing. Why did Toriyama even write him like that? You know? I'm the fastest in the universe. Are you faster than Ginyu? Uh, no, not really. Why the fuck did you say that then? Are you faster than Frieza? Is that why you said that? No, no, I'm not really. Even when Frieza's in his chair, he's still faster than me. <laughs> why did you say that then? Who are you faster than, Jace? Guldo? I hope you're faster than Guldo. Fuck. He can stop time, you know. He can still beat you in a race. <laughs> like, man. Also, yeah, that's enough. That's enough thing about Ginyu in this game. Ginyu is super, super OP in this game. Um, so. That, that, oh, that's a reference to Xenoverse. That's what they mean by first mission. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Xenoverse is now iconic enough to be referenced in its own universe. It's weird to say, but it's true. I say that because this is a Xenoverse game, but... Um, I guess if they were going to do Toa and Mira, they would have to be Raiders, obviously. I'm kind of surprised they haven't shown, like, any... Maybe they did show up in, like, the story mode cutscene things, like the offline content. But I am not playing that. Because it's boring and it's basically just an extended tutorial. Like, I don't need a tutorial for how to cut off Vegeta's tail. It's mostly ineffective to even try and do it so hey i'll attack his tail when i see an opportunity that is good not because oh look the ai is being in inherently stupid so now you can do it like all right i might as well grab the scouter i don't even remember what my skills are uh rocket barrier blah 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 oh yeah they, they nerfed grapple i completely forgot about that you know a free skill yeah yeah nerf those free skills fuck them Fuck those idiots. I dare they not pay for instant transmission and energy barrier. God damn it. Losers. Force those guys to pay money. Are you here to save me? Um. I know. Why is he here? Okay. Um. What oh, rip. Uh, Raiders are clearly too still, uh, clearly still too strong to fight. So, yep. Damn. Uh, thank you so much, Ben. Jesus, what you guys are insane. Thank you so much, uh, Burning. I feel like I'm gonna hiccup. Thank you so much, Burning J Gaming, for the hundred dollar donation. And he says, "Share this with Pro Bro." I will. God damn. Thank you so much, Burning J. Ah. God damn! I will. I will. Pockets money. Um. I don't even know where he is right now. All right. The hell is that? Is that the new like DP staffing, or was that like Dragon Change? I I'm not sure what that gave me because I don't know what that is. But I assure you that it's probably not a way to make the survivors have an even chance. So I probably shouldn't give it too much mind. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was trying to say. Um. You could say, oh, why doesn't everyone just jump Guldo at the start? Uh, because the time it takes him to turn into Raccoon is like six seconds if you kill Guldo. So I would look, hey, you kill Guldo and now you have way less dragon change and he's and Raccoon is right next to you. So if you want, you can do that. I'm very sure that stuffing and picking up should be. No, it's not dragon change. Okay. I can't really see what it gives me on the bottom left because, you know, my fat webcam is blocking it. And I use my, uh, I use my, okay. I use my Streamlabs, uh, overlay to actually look at, to actually look at the gameplay because it makes it easy for me to check when something is going on. In, ca in case if anything happens and I need to check, it makes it easy to do that. So, yeah. Um... Right then, so they're kind of putting their hand. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot Raiders have a super armor bar now. Yeah. Because they're already winning majority of their matches, so clearly they needed the extra help. I was wondering what that red bar was above Raccoon, and I remembered. Oh, it's super armor. 
galaxy i would never challenge a god we're both gods a hey. can we oh is that oh i forgot uh Gordo goes on like reconnaissance duty if you if you uh don't kill him i think it's called like solo mission or something I wish hiding at least made your characters, like, model harder to see or something. The fuck was that? Oh! Are you serious? My raccoon kick is insanely good. Holy shit. Um, I guess I might as well just bury her in instant transmission. Alright. <laughs> did you see me? I think he did. I think he did. Um, I don't really have a- Oh, he saw someone else. Okay, well, rip them, I guess. Oh, I keep forgetting. These guys have scouters, don't they? All of them, right? So they can always just check where you are all the time. Oh, that, that, yeah, that was, that's a good gameplay idea. I think that's fair. You know? Am I holding me Dragon Ball? No, okay. Raiders matches with level 100 plus survivors are normally painful. <laughs> Yeah, imagine being, like, a, it's a team full of level 100 plus survivors, and it's still really hard to get a win against, like, a level, like, 10 raider. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be as fair as I can. If there are several survivors that are all level 100, or, like, multiple level 100s, and it's this hard for them to pull off a win, I, I think, I think after a certain while, I should be like, alright, if the people who actually stayed behind to play the game are having this hard of a time, Maybe we should change something. But nope. Well, I mean, we'll see, we'll see if this gets the Gundam Evolution treatment, right? It could be that Dragon Ball is so big that this might not fail. And get, like, its server shut down. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, Because I, I, I don't have much interest in playing Season 3, at least. Hopefully Season 4, there's something more interesting. But who knows? Access the startup sequence. Mm. Uh, oh, I have max power. I didn't even. I didn't even know. Okay. Um, it's just dead by daylight problem, but shit. Y'all yeah, could definitely still win this match. Relax. Uh, maybe with the super time machine. But how many of us are up? Five. And I'm the only level three. I'm the only person who could fight this guy. And after he hits me like three times because he gets a damage boost from having Raccoon on the team, I'm just dead, right? So he hits me a few times and I'm cooked. Uh, oh, we have a level 4, so maybe we could team up on him. It, don't tell me that's the Raider. Oh, it is the Raider, isn't it? Oh, it's the Raider. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We don't have a chance. Who was it that said we have a chance? The game The game wanted you to be so wrong. The game wanted you to be so wrong so bad. The moment you said, you have a chance, I was like, yeah, you know what? I do have a chance. This, this immediately happened. Um... So, yeah, that's fun. What, did the, what does the Raider have to do to get Dragon Balls from the Survivor again? Just hit them twice? And what does the Survivor have to do to get the Dragon Balls from the Raider? Deplete their entire super armor bar and then actually escape them? Oh. Yeah, that's, that, no, that, that's fair. That's fair. I, yeah, I, I, could, I could see how that's doable. Right then. Um, well, I don't really have any chance now. Might as well wait for the Super Time Machine. Ah, screw it. I haven't actually showed off any gameplay yet, so I guess we have to punch him. It's not like we're going to win anyways, and there's a 90% chance he'll destroy the time machine of his busted Key Blast. Look at that. Look, that's his regular Key Blast. His regular Key Blast is like a War of the Worlds tripod beam. It just goes fucking everywhere. Oh, and that's his super attack, by the way. That's his super attack. Super attack does like... Oh, my. To be fair, his super attack used to one-shot. I think they nerfed his super attack. It used to just outright one-shot. But because the level 3 was at least around for like a few more seconds. So no, it's not a one shot anymore. It's just like 80%. You know? So it's like, hey. I hope he's not paying attention. Okay. Probably just gave myself away, but I wanted to be a team player. Hello. Hello. 
Wait, was he trying to body change me? Bro. Bro, relax. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Hey, that's my job. What? I was going to say, how was that not the right angle? Oh, it can hit me through. Oh. Oh, he has a huge radius on that. God damn. All right. Sheesh. I'm going to run out of this very soon. I'm glad that this guy has a hard time thinking outside the box, at least. Okay. That's my cue to leave, because I do not have enough juice in the tank to beat this guy. I guess I'll just go for the time machine in the city. Since it looks like he's rushing it down. Oh, I'm the only person up right now. Um, are we back in the SOS meta again? Because it looks like looks like there's not a lot you could do against the Captain Ginyu that isn't even great. Like he got distracted very easily. I'm hoping his key blast isn't so busted that it hits me from here. Oh, nope. All right. Cool. So the only person who survived was the person who used the escape time machine because he ran away. So I think we're back in the SOS meta. We are definitely back in the SOS meta. <laughs> Everyone's saying, guys, the Raiders 2 overpowered. It's so fucking over. The SOS meta players going was so fucking back. Yes, the running away meta. Yes. All right. So that was that was that was cool. So level 94, 64, 74, 2, 38, 90, 90. And just completely floored by level 26. No biggie. Not even hard. Not even tough. Easy work, in fact. Easy. Um, Steed Stream Moment. Thanks so much for the $5 donation for Zupa Chain. It says, oh, yay. Thanks, YouTube, for finally putting Steed back on my recommended after seven months. Damn, it really be like that sometimes. Hey, YouTube's allowed to do what they want, all right? I use that platform, so. I missed a dono. I did. Was it Streamlabs or Paper One, actually? Because I'm being stupid. Or was it, um, Steed Stream's Moments one? Because I'm reading that out now. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm going to hiccup. I don't know why. Um... Hey, yeah, the legendary has us come. Why fix the game when we can make a new one, Bandai? Yeah, it's an escape time machine victory. Teed Mystic Dodo's like always. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I did. I, okay, so I did read it. Yeah. That level two was going to solo, I swear. <laughs> he almost lost. Yeah, the Raider made a lot of mistakes. He actually did almost lose, but the game is just... It's, it's way too one-sided. It's way too one-sided. Because even though he made a ton of mistakes... Um, how hard is it for him to get the Dragon Bolts off of someone? Just hitting them twice. Um, and it's impossible for us to get the Dragon Bolts. Even since the earliest stage of the game. Even in, like, the original beta for the game. Um, you couldn't fight the Dragon Balls off of the radar. Because if you if you were there when he was making the wish and everyone jumped him at the same time, you don't run out of power, then he just kills you all or makes his wish, then kills you all. So it's it's kinda like not like sensible to have the gameplay be so one sided. If level four was like ridiculously OP, then I could understand, but it, it's not, so. Oh well. We go again. I don't understand the body change mechanic for the radar. How would that help the radar? Um, all Ginyu does, if I recall, is that... Okay, here's, here's how the body change helps. So, when body change hits you, no matter what level you are or how much dragon change you have, you die in one hit, and then his body change gets replaced with the super you put on that character. So, he, he, he gets one hit, he gets a one shot, guaranteed, then he gets your super. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's not much else to say, just yeah. Um, cool. Oh, Super Kamehameha sucks. I remember that. I have Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan now, right? Yeah. Oh, too late. Oh, it's always full power energy wave. It's not the Super Report. Never mind. That's ass. That's ass. Never mind. I didn't know how bad. I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. How do you find the match? I can't find a single person in my weight. 
and my wait time is one minute. Um, I want to say part of me finding a match is YouTuber's luck, but it also might be the console because this game isn't this game isn't crossplay for some reason. Even though it really should be, it would really help the game. I'm just saying it would help a lot. Um, so yeah. I wish they had the surprise tech skill for like when Piccolo kicked Freezer. If they did have a surprise tech skill like when Piccolo kicked Freezer, it would probably stun the radar for like four seconds, and then it would be on cooldown for like 180 seconds. So. If you want it, feel free, but I already know what Bandit Amco Dimps is going to do to a move like that, so I don't want it. I think all games should crossplay. Oh, this guy's name is The Cell Games. I wonder if he was around during the OG Cell Games meta where we just spammed Special Beam. To be fair, that's a piccolo matter, but we turned it into a self thing because we just love him, baby. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's actually a Vegeta, which is different because usually it's just Ginyu now, but Vegeta's not weak either. So yeah, Super Electro got, Strike got nerfed. If you don't know, I did not fucking know. I'm gonna have to check the patch notes. No surprise, they would nerf a super that was actually helping people win, right? Oh, these supers need to be nerfed, but everything with the radar? Hey, leave that untouched. Leave it. Leave it. It does half the damage it used to. I don't mind if it, if it does less damage. I mean, yeah, it doing less damage sucks because there's barely anything in the game that does good damage. Even Super Spirit Bomb takes way too long to charge and its damage isn't that remarkable for how long it takes to charge. Um. So, yeah. But so long as Super Electric Strike still hits, then I'm all right with that. Yeah, it losing damage blows ass, but. Okay. Um, the armor helps a little bit. You sound like you're below level 50. Um, even if I was below level 50, don't you think level 50 is a bit too fucking high? Before someone is allowed to make takes on the game. Don't you think that's a a bit like extremely high of a number? Considering what the gameplay loop is. I, I would talk more about the armor point. But I, I think it's kind of extremely short-sighted and unfair. To say you need to be level 50 before you can have a complaint. So, that if if you like the armor, feel free, right? But I I would say anyone is allowed to make their opinion on the game regardless of their level, and they should be judged accordingly if it's a fair or not opinion. Not oh well, your level doesn't sound high enough. That sounds like some elitist like two thousands like gamer talk. <laughs> you don't even have one hundred thousand gamer score. <laughs> Scrub, you'll never be like me. I've got all the achievements. Did you know I beat Halo 2 on Legendary? <laughs> I bet you haven't done that one before. Come on, man. People are allowed to be whatever level they want. If the game is giving them a hard time, it's giving them a hard time. If you know so much, you tell us how to beat the armor. Oh, just hit him, Lamel. Oh, thanks. I didn't figure that one out. You found a power key. Go I only got 10k gamer score. Only 10k? <laughs> What's your name? Supreme Kaday? More like Supreme Kid. Get on my level. You don't even have... Oh! Am I dead? Oh, no. Wait, maybe not. I don't really want to have to use up one of my skills, but I might need to to escape. Because I need the skill for in case if he sights me, like, immediately. Okay, thank God. All right. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, the radar just has 50 million power. Yeah. <laughs> I break a stream while I'm working, bruh. I'm so sorry, Solo Komodo. I'm so sorry. Oh. Maybe maybe next time. Maybe next time we won't do you such... Am I... Okay, I'm trying to change level two. I feel like I can't do a lot, though. Because first we need to find the power keys because rushing Napper is senseless because you'll just be Vegeta anyways. Oh. Did he see me? If he sees me with the scouts, me heading right now is pointless. So, yeah. You didn't beat Ultimate Tenkaichi... Oh, you didn't beat Ultimate Shenron and Ultimate Tenkaichi on your first try? 
I feel like a lot of people can still do that. That one, that one's still possible. But I know I didn't do it. I know I didn't do it. Okay. I have 16, only 16k gamer score. You don't even have 50k. Sorry, man. You sound like you sound like you got below 50k gamer score. I don't think I can take your opinion seriously. Oh, he saw me with the scouter. Yeah, he must have seen me through the scouter if he uh, was shooting blasts around the corner. See, I might not make it because I just fell for a microsecond right now. Okay, that was so close that he didn't start shooting blasts. If he was just holding the blasts down, I wouldn't. I would not have made it. I would not have made it if he was just holding his blasts down. And he can do that. Remember, there's there's no downsides to just not spamming your blast, which means he only didn't do it because he wanted to take his time. Anyone who genuinely just goes, eh, screw it, which is most people, you would just die. So, yeah. I fell for a microsecond, so I literally almost just lost immediately because of that. Um, so, yeah. My biggest issue with the armor, um, aside from the fact that it lets the raider, you know, just punish you for attacking him. That's reasonable. Um, is the fact that the armor makes it even harder to get stuff like Dragon Balls from the Raider, which was the way people used to win in the game because there's so few ways to actually win in the game. So, hey, the Raider having armor is disgusting, but my biggest gripe of it is the fact that you can't get Dragon Balls off of him. Because even though the Raider's unbalanced, I'm very used to playing unbalanced games. Trust me. So I, I don't mind him having armor. It's just very annoying that he can, he can actually, like, hoard Dragon Balls for a, an extended period of time now. There is no reason to go, oh, the Raider might have the last Dragon Ball. Let me ch let me fight him and check. You can no longer take that risk reward, because if you do, you'll just die. Hey, Breakers is super unbalanced, but at least it used to reward me for taking such a grave risk. I get to see if the Raider has the Dragon Ball, and if he does, I get to make my dashing escape. And if I don't, oh well, at least the rest of my team know he has the Dragon Ball now. Maybe they could do something with it, maybe they won't, but at least I have some sort of closure. Now I'm just hitting the guy, and he's just pulling my arms and legs off. And it's like, well, I didn't even get to check if he has it. So, that's cool. You know, that's fun. But I don't know, man. I just sound like I'm below level 50. Why does that even matter? You don't gain anything for leveling up in this game. You know what the Raider gets for leveling up? He gets extra points for his abilities and his passives. His passives and actives get stronger. Survivors get nothing for leveling up. So, I don't know why level even matters in this game. That's not, that's not a fair point. You could say it's due to experience, sure, but... Someone who plays the game day one and me, I think we'd have the exact same experience when it comes to fighting the Raider. We'd be like, huh, what was I supposed to do just now? Just get lucky? Hope he forgets I'm here? Great. Who knows? I guess I do have a, a, a slight advantage to people who played the game day one because, you know, I have paid for abilities like Energy Bear and Instant Transmission. If another player was in a situation I was just in, they would have lost. You don't want to know why? Because they don't have those two abilities. They would have just died. Enough the bomber bike, so yeah. Oh, he's here again. Hello, good sir. Ignore me. Change. Okay, cool. I have to energy barrier this one as well. Because uh, he can shoot me from that far away. Okay. Guess I might as well go here. Cool. So, like again, I just said it. If a player doesn't have the two skills I have, they would be dead 100% in the scenario I was just in. You need to have these skills. You can't say, oh, just bore my bike away. Just hide. Those aren't options. The Raider has too many things that make it too easy for them to find you and kill you. You can't say, you. it's not like Dead by Daylight, where you can hide in a really weird, inconspicuous spot. The game will just make the Raider lock onto you if you are even on the screen for a little bit. So, that's not even a good argument. Is he back again? Oh, that yeah, he's right there. Or is it, was that Nappa? Who knows? <laughs> Not playing the game is an option. It's true, but I, I did want to play the game again. I'm at least allowed to try it again, right? Because if I don't play the game, I'd be getting the complaint of, Oh, you didn't give it a second chance. I gave it a second chance. Oh, well, why did you play the game? What am I supposed to do? I gave you my opinion the first time. It didn't make you happy, so I tried it again. Like you requested. 
Not you in particular. I just, I just mean like people in general, right? Did he lock onto me for a microsecond? Yeah, okay. No, he's probably watching the stream because this is way too random of a guess. I think that he either locked onto me for a microsecond or he's actually just watching the stream. Also, Napa, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's looking at me right. His head is tilted in my direction, right? Is it? No, I don't think it is. But Napa, what the fuck? I'm wearing red. Hello? Napa, just look over your shoulder pad. All right. It's whatever. No one in Vegeta killed this guy. He's so bad at his job. He's so ass. All right. Is that a shield over there? It got marked out, but I can't see it because of the big icon. And I don't want to step out in the open and just get my arms and legs ripped off. So. Uh, I guess I'll hold that. Um. I might be remembering this wrong about the game, but could someone remind me? If you died of a sensu bean before you ate it, I swear to God the game doesn't make you drop the sensu bean just so your teammates can't use it to revive you. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, because I feel like I forgot. When you die with a sensu bean, if the raid doesn't finish you off, you can bring yourself back. But if he does finish you off, it just stays in your inventory and doesn't get dropped like all of your other items? You don't drop the... Okay. So... Why is the game actually, like, this isn't a joke. Why is the game actually designed in a way where survivors are supposed to suffer? Like, th that's not a joke. Okay, well. Uh, fem Femboy Destroy. Oh, you guys have been donating like crazy. God damn. All right, all right, all right. Whoa. All right. Um, Solo Komodo. Um, oh, no, I read that one. Again, thank you so much for the, I thought the camera was here. Thank you so much, Solo Komodo, for the $2 donation. I'm um, a break stream while I'm working. Bruh, yeah, it's a big bra moment. He's probably going to use the scouts and see that I'm here. Always just watching the stream. Who knows? Um, and Big Dog donates twenty dollars super chat says, "I say, um, I say hello, Steed, and hello stream from the realm of PlayStation. Oh, hello, Big Dog. I wish I could play with you, but no crossplay. So from the realm of Xbox, I say, hey, yo, fella, thanks so much for the twenty dollars donation. Also, um, yeah, and Fanboy Destroyer donated <laughs> at the the Street Fighter Five Ryu profile picture is just so funny." Um, we have four minutes to escape. And he donated five dollars to Super Chat and he said suffer, obviously. Well, damn. Fair point. Where is the escape time machine? Oh. Zone E and zone A. So all the radar has to do is just fly high, then just turn left and right. To see if we try to go for it. So we already lost. They spawned in zones where the radar could just babysit it, so we already lost. He can literally just fly high in the air and just look down. And if he sees people running, because the game has the game has an absurd render distance for raiders for some reason, then he'll just see us and kill us. So we actually, I think we've already lost. I don't think we can even get a time machine escape. Hey, great man. Thanks so much for the $5 donation. And he said, change your channel name to Steed Rants already. That's a good, That that's actually good. I won't. Because I, I do more gameplay than ranting still. Despite what my streams would tell you, but yeah. No extra time machine for him being a level 4? Okay, we're getting another one now, but it's probably going to be in zone C and he'll just murder us. So, yeah. Oh, he is destroying zone C. God damn it. <laughs> it's going to be way too hard to, to stop him from getting the escape time machine. If you go SOS, you're good. I, I didn't put it on. I forgot to change to the true meta. Wait, what? Fuck! I don't blame him for leaving, though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stay. I am a tenacious one. Why do you fly faster than every other raider? That's too out in the open, but the rest of them are too close to him. He just did a stomp there, actually, so he might not go back there for a bit. If I get really, really fucking lucky, then I might be able to get that one. I hate how obvious the explosion is on that stupid goddamn rocket. Feels like I'm playing fucking Outlast right now. Piggy, little pig. 
Piggy, where are you, pig? What the fuck is this, dude? Uh-oh. Could you do stomp? Uh-oh. Just don't turn around and we're good. Please tell me he has no peripheral vision. Oh, thank God. Could you go check out the one across the map? He's... Oh, he. You could tell he's, he's probably got his camera faced in the other direction. He 100% has his camera faced in the other direction. His flight pattern was way too weird. Go stomp the other zone! There's a minute left! Fuck off! Okay, he definitely sees me. There's no way he doesn't. I just wanted to get to the other side of the fence, man. It takes two fucking jumps to get to the other side of the fence. Are you serious? Oh my god. It, it takes a double jump to jump over the fucking fence. I would have made... Uh, okay, I wouldn't have made it out. But I would have at least made it over the fence and he wouldn't have... No oh, yes. Blast have an explosive radius. Well, I'm not going to make it out, but I did as good as uh, I could. But I'm sure someone will tell me I sound like a level 50 for saying, Hey, there's like no escape options in this game. That's weird. Don't lock onto him, please. This game is so annoying. I just want to fly around him. I want to fly past him. But I can only fly to him. Well, guys, look, I just sound like a level 50, all right? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Should have had SOS. I feel like if I had SOS, I might have escaped. But the issue is that might isn't really good enough when the guy can cross the entire map in like five seconds. So, yeah. He can literally just do this. Just between the end of the map. Because he's great at Vegeta. He's too big and he's too quick. That means he didn't actually see me till the very end because he was he was on my ass like like stink on a fly. You know what I mean? He he was not laying up, which means he actually didn't see me every other time. Imagine if the Vegeta was also level fifty, no stopping him then. Well, the Vegeta was level twenty six, so yeah. The lock-on for Raiders is like key blast stunning, while survival lock-on is like playing as a small Majin Buu. Yeah, honestly. That's why you kill Nappa? What would killing Nappa have done? Vegito takes slightly longer to turn into a great ape, but he still had... There was only three of us left by the time he turned into a great ape. So he would still be winning. Also, you say that like killing Nappa is the easiest fucking thing to do. Oh shit, that's why you kill Nappa. Just hope he doesn't do all of his damage in one melee hit. That'd be really annoying. It would make it would invalidate all of my escape moves. And it would also kill teamwork. Because he does all of his melee damage so quick. That there's no way to punish him for doing it. It'd be a shame if he also had a stronger melee than mo uh, stronger key blast than most uh raiders too. Because if you mash it, he gets a separate boosted version. Man, I don't I don't want to be rude, but people who defend breakers, I feel like I feel like I feel like they're the kind of people who like could watch any show and like get enjoyment out of it. Like when most people say, Oh, I hated this 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 new season sucked. It wasn't anything like the first one. People who defend breakers would be like, What are you talking about? This season was great. It was as good as the last TV show season. And everyone is like, No, it isn't. But they would still be like, Yeah, because they don't have any standard. A, a lot of the suggestions for beating the raider are usually impossible scenarios. Just jump him. Yeah, let me just hope the rest of the server has the exact same idea. And then when we all run out of Dragon Change beating up Nappa, and we have none to deal with Vegeta, I guess we're just supposed to figure that one out. What? 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 Why is this guy golden? Hello there. There's an event? Oh, it's just to let you look at... Oh no, this is different. Um, is this just for Saint Saga Vegeta's clothes? Oh, it's for blue Vegeta clothes. Do you want Vegeta's outfit but blue?
Thank you so much, Osam, for the $10 donation through Streamlabs or PayPal. He says, we've missed seeing you play Breakers. Happy to have you back, brother. Happy to see you again too, fella. Um, yeah. You only need like three people or even two to kill him. Uh, debatable, because you have to also take the Raider skill into account, then my teammate's skill into account, then my own skill into account. And that's too many factors you need to take into account, considering the fact that your Dragon Change is running out. You have to also take the level of your Dragon Change into account. You have to take how close the Raider is to evolving into account, because if he's too close to evolving, and he hits you only a few times, then he'll just get to level 3 before he even finishes you off, or before you finish him off. And there's just a myriad of things I have to watch out for. Just to make sure I have a slightly, maybe, slightly better chance. Benboy Destroyer, thanks so much for the $5 donation through Super Chat. And he says, Dragon Ball, the Mind Breakers, Lamel. That's why you have to be good at the game. Even if I was good at the game, what's the guarantee? Also, that's a shit fucking argument, but I'll, I'll tackle that on later. Even if I'm good at the game, how good are my teammates at the game? Because I'm most of the time when you're playing any game, you're playing at randoms. Even if you have lots of fucking friends, right? And you can literally ask your viewers to jump into the game with you. You'll still be playing with randoms most of the time you play any game. So I'm just supposed to bank that the average player is amazing at the game. To make most of these scenarios happen. But what if the Raider's also good at the game? Because if, if I'm supposed to assume the average for every single person is good at the game, that means the Raider's also good at the game, which lowers the chances of my teamwork working because he would know what to do and therefore know how to counter it. Um, And then the other argument that I was going to tackle is... uh. Saying that someone needs to immediately be good at the game to get any kind of enjoyment out of it is probably the most elitist fucking thing ever. There are some games you don't have to be amazing at to get enjoyment out of them. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Big fucking surprise, I know, right? Not every game has to be a uh, fucking Elden Ring with a goddamn Warframe like nightmare multiplier on top of it. Not every game needs to be Ultra Nightmare Doom Eternal. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's nothing. You can even play games like Elden Ring. You don't have to be let me solo her level to play the game. There are people who, who aren't that great at games playing Elden Ring, learning the game, and then beating it. That happens. But for Breakers, you can know everything about the game and then still be rewarded with... Fuck you. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, Scott donated $2 super chat, and he didn't say anything. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, Scott. And you mad, bro? His name is You Mad Brother. He donated $5 super chat and says, My first time donate. Oh, thank you. My first time donating. Been watching since 2018. Much love, brother. Hey, thank you for sticking around for that long. Jesus. Um, thank you. Um, Scott donated another $5 super chat. Says, I just played with you. The name was J Killer 2. I didn't know that was you. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry about it, fella. I mean, you know it's me now, but you, you don't have to worry about that. And hey, thank, thanks for playing with us. Um, XR Mesh donated five dollars super chat. Tenkachi three is gonna be fire on launch. Then the balance changes and DLC are gonna make it bad. I don't know why they always do it with their Dragon Ball games. To be fair, Bandai games in general have really bad balancing because even Elden Ring has like peak shit balancing. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Most Bandai games just have really bad balancing in general. So it's like Dragon Ball games are obviously gonna get fucked over more because there's even less effort put into Dragon Ball games. Think about it for fucking uh, Armored Core. And Elden Ring and all this stuff. They have to make like new assets, new gameplay styles, new movesets, blah, blah, blah. What Dragon Ball games, all the recent Dragon Ball games we get is like reused assets from like previous games. And then if it's different, like fighters, then okay, cool. Wow, there's one, there's one. We got one Dragon Ball game that's that's good and different and has unique animations and movesets and models. Wow. Wow, holy shit. I guess Dragon Ball games are back now because there's one good one. But yeah. Um, Elden Ring actually nerfed things that needed it, though. Yeah, but some of the things got nerfed way too late. Some of the things got nerfed far too late. Like, watching invasion videos of, like, Dark Souls and shit used to be so fun. I'm not saying Dark Souls games are, like, super balanced either. But they didn't have as many bullshit things as Elden Ring does. But I haven't, like... No interesting invasion content I've ever seen in a really long time for, uh, for Elden Ring. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong channels, but... It's like... You go in there and then you just get like reamed by like the, the meta. And it's like, oh, cool. I wasn't using the meta myself, so I lost. Awesome. Yeah. 
um, Steed, get Elden Ring on PC so we can do Carrion Combat Warriors. Uh, I'm too lazy to get on another console. So, yeah. Um, what's the argument this time? Oh, uh, the argument was... See, your issue with Breakers is because... The fuck is... Oh, yeah, it's because I don't have him. I'm, I'm not paying for him. I don't give a shit. I'm not paying for him. If I give them money, then I'd be supporting something that I don't believe in. Which is uh, stupid. So, yeah. Um, I promise you guys the Ginyu Raider gameplay is like every other Raider gameplay. Exactly. He's just stronger. So that's it. Uh, you're not missing out on anything, I promise. So, yeah. Um, I do have one level up. Let's see. What do I want to use? Probably just on getting great ape faster, right? Okay, I got max level of Nappa for this. How about this? Increases your evolution energy when you damage a survivor. Sure. Sure. Um, how's Brill FC doing? He's all right. Thank you for asking. Ugh. I feel like I had something in my throat, Jesus. <clears> throat> Let me just drink water. Mm. Ooh. They put a limit on how much DP you could gain? Limit resets in 15 hours and 5 minutes. It, hold on. There didn't used to be a limit before, right? So now when you get those, you only get two of those DP star things like daily? Is that is that what that's is that what that means? Is that what that means? Is that actually what that means? Okay, there was. So it's always been there. Has it always been there? I don't remember that DP star being there. Okay, so it's always been there. Okay, Jesus. I was gonna say if they, if they made it even harder for survivors, that would that would have. Oof. Steve, you're still giving them indirect money by streaming the game. You're still making brain dead people who want to play this game. Thus buying the game. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, if people want to buy it because they think it looks good, feel free. Right? If you can have fun with less, then who am I to stop you? It'd be like getting mad at a kid because he enjoys his favorite game, even though you think his game is ass and you would never play it as an adult. You're like, hey, whatever. If he has fun with it, do, do your thing, little bro. You know, I, I'm not going to be like, huh, wait a minute. You like Kirby instead of liking fucking Halo? Are you serious, dude? I just, I, I just want to play Kirby. <laughs> fucking bitch. And I hand him a fuck, an Xbox controller. Play Halo. Do that instead. Play Halo 5. All of it. Legendary. But I, I just got the game. <laughs> that sounds like talk for someone who's under level 50. I don't want to hear that, dude. Play it now. <laughs> don't cry. Play it now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to someone. That's just unfair. Um, I need to change to an SOS build. Because, because not. Why did Why did I have landing? Oh, because when you land from a high place, then you turn into a. Oh, they no. Hold on, they nerfed that. I forgot. Right. So you, if you had landing delay before, and you landed from a high place, then you turned into a rocket. You would get the speed boost of the landing delay, but now you don't because why make things fun for the survivors, right? Just like, God damn it, man. <laughs> You're never beating the fucking over survivor allegations. Halo 2 all skulls, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it just me that always gets competent players whenever I use Boo Raider, but going against him, no one jumps Popovich? It, I don't know, RNG, who knows? The players think of an RNG brain. Now, there's probably not any real players on this game. It's probably just a bunch of people like in like in like stasis or or cryo with like machines hooked up to their brain, so they can play breakers while they while they're asleep. They're just a bunch of AIs. Oh my God, Steed, you're alive in the flesh, maybe. But just said, put your mom on the mic. Oh, it's because yeah, it's because of the voice I was doing. All right. Okay, see, they should have said a lack of experience. Without 50 comment, 
was to save time. Damn, you're clown too much. Hey, look, I'm sorry. The love 50 comment was way too funny for me to not, for me to not like make a joke about it. That's like, that's like too high of a level before you're allowed to have it. <laughs> imagine not being allowed to play the game. And like, imagine you're playing the game, but you're not allowed to say anything until you get to level 50. And then when you finally get to level 50, you're like, oh, thank you, God. And then you type up like your Twitter or Reddit like post thing. I don't really like the game. I think it's a bit too unbalanced and stuff. And like, then you you hit send. And after you hit send, people go, I don't know, man. You sound like you're under level 50. Are you sure? You're going to have to take a screenshot for that and send it to me. I'd be like, all right, damn. Damn, I did my best, dude. <laughs> I want to put on Father Son Kamehameha, but it's too slow. No, was it too slow? I remember in the beta, there was an issue I had with this move that didn't make me put it on. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, what do you think is going to happen with what? I I, I must have missed that. Sorry, Prolepsi was telling me about something else. I was I was I was so confused. <laughs> Mid-sized explosion? Does it say mid-sized explosion on this? Oh, you will make a good joke about mid. Okay. I was going to say, if it's a mid-sized explosion, then it might be actually good. Um, Smells like level 15 here. Butcher, you touch the fire for a millisecond and you'll act like you're torched. Seven Raider Q system, DLC free updates. I need to see new content. Uh, who knows? Did, did you already play Dark Souls 1, 2, 3? I played Dark Souls 1 and I never finished it. And I finished Dark Souls 3 like 900 times. To be fair, when I played Dark Souls 1, it was like an eternity ago, so I I probably didn't care. I was probably like too young or something or too busy. And I was like, uh, eh, this game's hard, I'm not gonna play it. So yeah. See, they've got some advice. Keep landing notification, put a trampoline, and when you change into your form and do a jump off the trampoline, you go so far. That does sound like good tech, but it sounds like too much just so I can move like away from the guy. I need to I need to have a, a passive on, then I need to have another active, then I need to have another active. I mean I know there's barely any ways to escape the radar, but I'm not so desperate I would just like use up like three out of my eight things to escape. The cooldowns are very low, so it's worth it. Uh maybe. I think I'm just gonna stick with the SOS meta. I think I, I think I just want to play it safe, you know. Since fighting the raider clearly isn't an option, I'll have to stick to the SOS meta. Galaxy says play a better game. Uh, no, I haven't even streamed this for two hours yet. Then you know I need to at least suffer for two hours, then I can do it. Then I can play something else. Is there a new LR Super Saiyan Goku? I just got a notification of Dokkan saying. Go summon for the new SSR Super Saiyan Goku that can be Dokkan Awakened into an LR. And I was like, what? There is? I have not been paying attention. Don't you have exploration enthusiasts for skills? I do, but uh, I usually get beat to boxes a lot now because I think I'm at the stage of the game where most people know to rush boxes. So there's never any boxes left for me to open. And even if I could cool down my skills, most of the time you just you just get cooked. In this game, so it's like, uh, what can I do? You know. Escape time machine isn't a win. I know it's not a win. I, actually, here's the part that pisses me off. When I said it wasn't a win, all the way back then, everyone called me a fucking idiot. Now it's considered a win. Because the, the game's balance has shifted so much that now it's considered a win by the community. I am not sure which LR Super Saiyan Goku they were telling me about. I want to dock on right now and I'm not seeing I'm not seeing none of that. Oh, there's the EZA for um Oh, they're talking about the Spirit Bomb Goku. Who the fuck cares? There's the EZA for whatchamacallit. For uh for Tournament of Power Kaioken Goku, so that's cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So yeah. So most people, it's a loss. Well, I remember back in the day where everyone was using the escape time machine and everyone was like, oh, it's not actually a win. 
and we were like the devs count it as a win so we're gonna use it like it's like like it's like that oh uh, no it's not a win okay now it's a win the devs have always counted it as a win they have always counted it as a win the community used to not count it as a win but now they do The devs don't count it as a win. Okay. Could you look at the Breakers uh, Raider Survivor win loss and tell me what the chart says? Because they have always counted that shit as a win. Do, 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 See, what do you think of uh, LR4 Power SJ4? Oh, yeah, I think LR, um, Legendary Rest Super Sin 4 Goku and his themes go hard. Like his OST. Speaking of the statistics, they still have a lot of unreleased Ginyu stats. Like, they know they screwed up with making Ginyu. Hey, don't say that in front of Dragon Ball the Breakers fan. They'll just say, oh, shut up. They're just not ready to release them yet. There's always some defense. See, play a game you like at the one hour mark. We're past the one hour mark, so it's too late. We got we got to ride the whole way through. What kind of captain doesn't go down of a ship, even though that's intrinsically stupid? But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully Tenkaichi 4 won't be a hot mess, but we know it will. It's 2023 and dimps. Yeah, unfortunately, games today have like zero quality control. There's a day one patch for fucking everything that exists now. Um, especially Dragon Ball games. They've been pretty rough. So as much as hyped as I want to be for Tenkaichi, it might be a YouTube game for me. And I mean a game that I just make YouTube content on it, not because I like playing the game. It's just it's just a YouTube game. Kind of like Xenoverse is just a YouTube game for me. I don't I don't like playing it. You know, you get you get like Fortnite creators and stuff like that. You know, it's like, hey, the game makes me a gazillion dollars. So, of course, I'm going to keep playing it. But how fun does it get to be to play the same game over and over and over and over and over again? You know. So, yeah. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Check for teammates' levels. Um, there you go. It must be my lucky day. This must be my lucky day. I just realized the cell games person is that is that girl right next to me. They were the raider in the last game, right? Or was it? I don't remember actually. You're complaining because of a learning curve? Okay, well, wh which part of the survivor learning curve do I not understand? Because let, let's say I, I really don't get the survivors, right? Maybe, I, maybe I'm just a horrible survivor. Okay, cool. So why is playing Nereida so fucking easy for me? Are we finally going to admit that the Raider is way too fucking overpowered and way too easy? And that the Raider should really be tuned to actually play? As if they were on a team-based game. Maybe. Or are we just not going to address that? If playing a survivor is such a nightmare, but playing Raider is piss easy, and I can play Raider with perfect accuracy, and it's so easy to the point where I have to make a challenge for myself to be kill every single person, rather than just win. I need to kill everyone. And I'm also, like, being a dick and goofing off while I'm doing it. Right? Because I just, I just want to have as much fun as possible. And I can still kill every single person. But when I'm playing a survivor, it's a damn chore. Are we going to finally address that? Maybe. It's a bit unbalanced. Maybe. Or are we just going to go, no, you're just bad. 
Exactly, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm like really good on both sides for games like Predator and Evolve. Uh, the Predator game on PlayStation. I don't know why it's PlayStation exclusive. That game is actually like fun. Um, I'm really good at playing both sides on that game, and on Evolve, right? So why is this one? Why is this one just fucking stupid? Perhaps it's on bad. No, no, you just bad at the game. Like, all right, damn. Yeah, that's another thing, man. At least in Dead by Daylight, the guy hits you, and then he has a cooldown animation. Because they were like, hey, if you could just spam you to death back to back when you're way slower than him, right? And he ha and he has, like, superpowers and shit. That would be a bit silly. Yeah, there's also no infinite flight, obviously, in, in games like Dead by Daylight. Like, ugh. Breakers getting defenders is so weird to me. Because, like, how do you play it and not go, hmm, I can see how an average person wouldn't enjoy this game. Wait, what? Like, it's, it's one of those games where you have to be playing at, like, maximum efficiency to play it at the desired level. I should have did this hand because you can't see the other hands. To play at the desired level. Like, if you're the survivors, you can't, like, take it easy. You can't. Want to know why? Because there's a man in the sky who can lock onto you immediately and kill you. It's like, bruh. Steed, your allies knocked out. Can you save them? Um, he's a bit far away, and the smoke is in his direction, so I probably should keep playing the objective. But I'm sure I'll get told that I don't know the learning curve if I do that shit. Oh, you just gotta learn how to play as a teammate. You mean doing the objective? No! Like what? Like jumping the radar! You mean the, the most fucking dangerous thing to do in the game? And people usually just abandon you mid-fight when you're fighting the radar as well? Like, why? And jumping, yeah, exactly, bro, jumping the radar barely works. There's a reason why the radar win statistic is just way higher than the survivor one. It's not up for debate. It's just not. And this is with the fact that the devs always count escape time machines as part of the why survivors win in their win-loss things. Like, come on, man. I don't want to have, like, a red pill alpha male channel moment, but unironically, wake up, sheeple! You know, like, wake up, go, come on, like, how is it, like, how is it so hard to understand? They literally show you, yes, most of the survivors' wins come from running away. And it's like, uh, are we going to address that? So theoretically, if seven survivors escape, that counts as seven victories? But if, if the Raider wins one match, that counts as one Raider victory. Survivors are getting artificially boosted points and the stats still look that fucking bad. Are we going to address that? No? No? You should just learn. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get. I'll get. I'll get my level up. I'll. I'll get to higher than level fifty. <laughs> no, I know I'm above level fifty, but I don't sound like it. So that's what matters. Um, I think I'm, I think he saw me. Oh, he's just he's key sensing, but I'm not in the range. I'm not in the range. How was I not in the range? He was so close to me. He was 66 when I turned around. He was right next to me. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but that inconsistency is a bit much. It's a it's a bit weird. Um, I'm not sure if rocket launchers even knock the radar back anymore because of the super armor. It might break all of the super armor gauge in one hit and then have it slowly recharge. But who knows? It probably just ticks the radar. Unless if they've uh, already taken damage, who knows? Um, where is this shit again? I already forgot where this is. Okay. Oh, now he can sense me from much further away. From much further away, now he can sense me. What the fuck? Oh, is he still coming after me? The escape time machine's being done. You could come after me if you want, big boy. Oh, he didn't. I don't... Is his sense based on which direction he's looking in? Does it have more range in the direction he's actually facing? I'm level 2 right now, so I can't really do shit, but I might as well contribute a tiny bit where I can, since he's so busy killing this one person. Oh, he's back. Hello. Hello, big man. Don't mind me. I'm so glad Second Form Cell has the worst Key Blast in the game. I wish every other Raider had a Key Blast like that, so that way there would actually be some form of balance when it comes to escaping Raiders at range. Holy shit. The fact that Second Form Cell's Key Blast is the only one that people regard as fucking fair is insane. Even though it's a giant Kamehameha. 
Okay, it's not like giant. It's not like a super come here, but you know what I mean. You can actually dodge it and react to it. There is actual counters to sell key blast. We know everyone else's key blast is... Uh, just get lucky, Lamel. <laughs> like, man. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... Oh, he destroyed Area D already. I was going to use the Time Machine there to escape. Because th this does not look like a win. Uh, I'm still not level 3 yet. That's unfortunate. Uh, damn, okay. There's only one person Dragon Chain fighting him right now. And they can only just barely damage him. I do... <sighs> fuck it. Let me use Super Electric Strike. Let me, let me at least see what this damage is like. I didn't even hit him. Oh, I have to thank the map layout for that one. Oh, that does like no damage. That does like nothing. Hey, don't look in my direction, please, sell. Okay, uh, Super Electric Strike sucks now, so... I guess it's Big Bang Attack. What is he sensing for? Dude, relax, chill. Which time machine should I take? I don't remember where most of them spawn. I think the one in this zone... Um, it spawns between... It spawns after, like, a wooden bridge. Probably, like, somewhere around here, actually. I say that because... He has way too much health for the amount of people we have left. And I swear to God, it only takes out two absorptions to get to his perfect form now or some shit. Did they keep buffing Cell's evolution? Oh, yeah, there we go. Only takes two. So, they keep buffing Cell's evolution, but... I guess survivors need to be stuck with the... No, wait a they made it take longer for survivors to get to level 3. Remember that? Like, super early in the game? They increased the amount of dragon change you needed. Like, power you needed to get to level 3. You, I'm sure so, I'm sure most of you guys remember that, right? Even though Raiders still had a higher win-loss back then, too. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, I, I was right. It's somewhere here. Please don't fly in this direction first, Cell. That would be really sick if you don't do that. All right. Take us out. Don't even wait. Don't 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 wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Let's go. 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 Let. Oh. Finally, a win. Finally, a win. Look, I know you guys might not want to hear it, but this is a win. The the devs always put this up as a win whenever they show their win loss statistics. Um. So I'm sorry. It's a win. That's free wins. That's free survivor wins right there. Free survivor wins right there. Let's go. That makes up for the two other matches I lost because that's free survivor wins. That's how artificially boosted the survivors have it. Three of us escaping. That that beats the two that beats the two losses I just experienced. Two or three losses. I don't know how many matches I lost already, right? But there you go, easy. Technically, survivors are actually OP because we have one more point than the Raider now because three of us escaped. Fucking sick, dude. All right. Let me actually check what the win-loss is for the, uh, for the game. Let's see if they've updated it. Apparently, they didn't give out stats since Ginyu has come out, which is very long. Ginyu's been out for a very long time now, so that's kind of weird. Um, so let me let me check. Breakers. Um, let's see. Can we play a better game? What are you talking about? This is the better game. I haven't streamed two hours of this yet. Chill, alright? We can play a better game another day. How about that? Because apparently you're not understanding the peak that is Dragon Ball the Breakers, so. They've only given a shop update recently. Oh, that's rough. All right, what should I... I guess I should check their media. That would make things faster. Uh, Yamcha. Oh, they put out an items and strategies guide. Well, it's coming from the devs itself, so it has to be good. Right? It wouldn't give me bad advice. So, I'll read that out later, but first let me... Uh... Oh, they, they put out two survival guides. Cool, I'll read that one as well. Um, all right, first let me find the win-loss. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So it's since before Ginyu even came out. Damn, that's a while ago. 
Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Alright. I think we're finally out of season 3. Nope. Still in season 3. Okay, now we're out of season 3. Thank God. Alright. Show me them win loss statistics, baby. Show me them win loss statistics, baby. Where are they? It's been a fucking eternity since they gave it out. Jesus. Uh, I'm just spamming. Scrolling down. They don't, they don't give us these anymore? Do they just not get... Do they not give it out anymore so I can... So I can stop wasting my time and you guys' time? <laughs> Jesus. Hello? I must have missed it. There's no way. I just must have missed it. Because the way I'm seeing it, they haven't given out a win-loss thing since... Since last year. Because I'm on... I'm on... 30th of December now. Damn. I guess we don't deserve it. We must have did something wrong along the way. Um, People are saying to check out the recent patch notes for the game as well. I guess I should. That makes sense. Um, let me, let me see if I can find that first. I'll read the survival guide later. When when did the recent patch note happen? I'm not seeing anything here. Uh, they're hiding the stats on the public. Maybe who knows? Um. Oh, they dropped a kid boot keychain. That's nice. Even if it's just Dragon Ball Fighters uh, lobby characters, it's still nice. Damn, I don't think... Hold on, let me just check the Reddit. Surely the Reddit's on top of everything, right? Surely. Surely! And in the meantime, let's search for another match. Because we might get to be the Raider this time. Um... Okay. Okay. The Reddit is just a complaint forum. Oh, really? I wonder why. Uh, let's check the top post for the last month, maybe. Uh. Okay, I guess I should just stop checking. Doesn't look like I'm going to find anything. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Gear 5 is today. Is it getting animated today? I thought it was getting animated later. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was coming out August 6th. Oh, the teaser for it. Oh, okay. I mean, I would care more, but um, one, I'm not interested in One Piece, and two, uh, One Piece Twitter managed to make Gear 5 sound like the most annoying transformation known to man. So I couldn't care if I wanted to. Like, you could say, oh, just ignore the fan base. But if the fan base, the people who love the thing, are telling me this, then what am I supposed to get out of it? Obviously that... This, right? So it's like, I, I can't be too interested in, in Luffy Gear 5. Well, not to mention they spoiled it as well in the, uh, in the One Piece Red movie. I mean, for anime only, they spoiled it. But no, I'm not, I'm not going to read Reddit. It seems like a lot of the top posts in Reddit are people just having fun, so. Yeah. Um, check the level if you want to know if you're going to have a hard time. I assume I'm always going to have a hard time, so I never check the level. It's easier to live life assuming everything will go wrong. I promise you. That's that's the same approach I take to breakers. That's why I haven't been like complete low to your god. 
and throwing my controller and you, it bounces like off the wall and then hits the ceiling then hits me back in the head like a cartoon character right that, that's why that's why i'm like taking it so easy because i just assume everything will go wrong i should probably press ready okay i already pressed ready i was just confused now check if they're high you're most likely gonna win all right i'll check um a lot, of a lot of people have been telling me I should collab with Iron Kane, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that sometime for Breakers. Oh, Jesus, what happened? I'll, I'll do that sometime for Breakers, so yeah, soon. Uh, Burning J, thank you so much for the $10... Burning J, thank you so much for the $10 donation through Super Chat. And he said, I wanted to ask you, Vestid, do you watch anime ciphers? I don't... I don't know what that is. Okay. I tongue twisted myself there like an idiot. I'm so sorry. This was an unexpected turn of events. One of us in my life. Oh, I'm reading. I'm reading Breakers Reddit. What the hell? Okay. Let's 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 do that later. Gear Five is not okay. For the people who kept saying Gear Five is more iconic than Insert Transformation here, it obviously isn't. If you have to compare it to the transformation, no one compares Super Saint to anything because everyone knows where it stands. So there you go. Like if you if you constantly feel the needs to compare this thing to another thing, then it just isn't on the same level as it. It just isn't. Like, that's just an objective fact. Because if you already know it, and everyone else already knows it, then shut up. Why do you tell people things that they already know? Because you like wasting people's time? Maybe. That's the only other thing I could get out of that. But yeah, it's... it's Gear 5 has no real history or cultural importance yet. Uh, even when it does, it's still going to be seen as oh, it's an anime transformation. Nice. If anything, it might get, get it might get called a clone of Ultra Instinct just because. Oh, isn't it weird how Luffy gets a white head form after Goku got a white head form? That's so crazy. So if anything, it's just going to get called an Ultra Instinct copy, not cultural impact. I also think where Super Saiyan comes from is just a a bit more interesting. Like Goku the whole time is like, oh, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. I go by I'm an Earthling more than a Saiyan. Blah blah blah. You know, just to be... No, I am a Saiyan. You know? I, I, I... I'm a Saiyan. A Saiyan. Okay. You know? I, I think, um... I think the weight behind Super Saiyan's, uh... Everything is a lot cooler as well. I, it might not help if you're a One Piece anime watcher. Because you watch Kaido eat, like, a gazillion, like... Attacks that would beat any other anime character. It's, it's like... The, the attacks are animated so well. They're like the final attack the protagonist would use to beat the villain in that arc. He saw me from that far away, and people said Breakers has a completely fine render distance. Fuck. I could just see his key, but he could see me completely from... Just when I slightly peeked out from around that building, he could see me completely. That's that's too much, don't you think? A bit too much, don't you think, huh? When is it... When is it too much? Oh, it took me a microsecond to... Okay, there we go. I just barely had enough time. It took me a microsecond to... Uh to do that so he he might almost hit me there if, if they just i'm sure most raiders should know this but if you just spam key blast you'd hit 90 percent of people before they get to teleport straight up i think that was just a lucky guess i, I want to say that too but he aimed at the top of the building you never need to aim for the exact very top of the building if you want to destroy it so i think he did just see me when I, whenever I am for a building, just hit any part. Why would you risk the chance of missing destroying the building? He aimed for the top of the building. He didn't aim for, like, the, the chest of the building. Or its legs, you know? He just aimed for the exact top. People are confusing the word iconic with the word hype. Yeah, One Punch Man fans are really used to doing that as well, so... Oh-ho! Which one is... Oh, hey, he's back again. So I I didn't see if he was actually paying attention to where I was that time. So I can't say if he's just watching the stream or if he was just like, oh, I just see you. I'm going to hit you. Um, Last time I checked, Tiding doesn't do anything in this game, right? The Raider can still just lock onto you. Like, the amount of times I've locked onto people hiding, on, hiding behind boxes proves to me that it's not worth hiding behind the box ever. Boxes are not covering this game. All right. We need it for E and A now, so I... I guess, I guess I should try and do that. Did you see me from that far away? Oh, I can't cling onto the side. Okay, I can. 
Um, yeah. So, uh, Lord Adrian donates twenty dollars super chat. Which one of the DRZ DRZ villains? Oh, Raiders. Which one of the DRZ villains from this game you like playing the most? Um. I think Vegeta, because I could turn into a giant monkey. So yeah, remember Steve, the SOS meta. Yeah, I, I know the SOS meta is real, but I at least want to actually the game wants you to play it. I assume, right? So, yeah. All right, we don't have A or E yet. I guess I should start going because he's clearly done with that guy is because he just finished him off. Um, what was I going to say? I still remember the meta being the change from, from, pro oh, Prop Hunt was the best meta. Prop Hunt was actually the best meta. Prop Hunt was so good, man. When they made the Raiders Key Blast so OP, no one could literally play the game, so they just hid until the skip time machine showed up. That was the best meta. Is he just coming here ASAP? Damn, all right. I drew a short straw. So that's me trying to play the game and being rewarded with the Raider instantly seeing me. Hello. Luckily, his thing is coming. Oh, is he not attacking? Yeah, luckily, his thing is coming, and that's just the worst key blast in the fucking game. Okay. The most I can do is waste his time, I guess, because there's no way I'm going to es escape him. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, hello. Hello. All right. Uh, you. Oh, great. Awesome. Nice. Uh, that's a, 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 Come on. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. I was going to say. All right. Um, what was I going with this? Barry instant transmission is still giga broken. It's the only way to escape the Raiders. So, I mean, I know they're going to nerf it because they nerf everything else that's ever helped with survivors before. But yeah. <laughs> Just give up already. Just give up already. Are you saying I didn't use any of my actor skills until the very end? Okay, do you want to know why I didn't? Because he sensed me. So if I used any of my actor skills, he would see where I go. Which would be very stupid. I made the smarter decision there. You're the one telling me how to play the game, but you didn't know that? If I'm key sensed and I teleport, the key sense does tell the person where you go. So I'm not going to do that. Because then he would just know where I go. Why would, why would I do that? Why would, why would I do that? I, that was the right way to use my skills. Are you telling me I did it wrong? I should tell him where I'm going? Is that what I should have done? I know I haven't played this game in a while, but... Surely it would make sense to not sell out my team and self-report where I'm going. Oh, shit. This guy has the right idea. No, he definitely saw me. Eh. Rip. My barrier's not going to be back for a bit, so I'm screwed. If I was that guy, I would just leave. There's no point of waiting for me. Okay. Is he still just chasing me? Fuck, I can't make it. Oh, shit. Rip. 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 Oh, his key sense charges that quick. Key sense recharges that quick, and you're telling me the game is, is fair and balanced. Fuck, man. He just used it. My abilities are still on cooldown, for fuck's sakes. Are you serious? My abilities are still on cooldown, and his key sense is just fucking back. That's insane. He didn't try any other skill. If I use Rocket, he would still see where I'm going, because I'm using because his his key sense was still on me. So why would I why would I waste my Rocket? If he knows where I'm going with <laughs> this guy won't even let me go. If he knows where I'm going with my Rocket, why would I waste it? If he senses me and my screen has the thing around me and I use the Rocket, he can key sense the Rocket. So why would I why would I tell him where I'm going? Why would I why would I do that? So 
Wouldn't it make more sense to wait for the key sense to run out then try my escape? He's letting you escape, is he? Um, alright, I'll just go for it then. I'm sure he'll destroy the time machine when he wants. But for now, since he's not killing me... Oh, forgot to deactivate that for a second. Alright. Dean, don't give up to find the power key! <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have found the power key. That's my mistake. Okay. I should have found the power key. Well, I'm grateful for the cell letting me go, but he pr he he probably did that because he noticed he he'd been assaulting me the entire match and was like, "Wait a minute, it's this guy again. It's this guy." Because I let people escape, I'm like, "Wait a minute, it's you again." But look, you survived too many encounters, so you get to go. You know that, that's what people who who have fun do. Because when you're the raider, you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. Because wow, they're super good. Paid actor, <laughs> scripted. <laughs> Technically, I just won. According to the game standards, I just won. So, Bandai Namco is going to look at the stats and be like, oh, it's fine. It's fine, because they won. He won. So, clearly, survivors need more nerfs. Um, Listen to those detractors telling you how to play. <laughs> okay. King Inron, thanks so much for the $5 donation. And he said, listen to these detractors telling you how to play Shikamai. Anyways, how these deeds... You playing randoms all night or getting groups together? I think I think just randoms. I want the authentic breakers experience. So we can we can do uh we can do with groups other days. Cause uh, breakers also one of those games where the time it takes to hope all of you connect together as a random group and no one disconnects is also really jarring. And I I don't want to go through that because it's just long and boring and it, it just kills the vibe of the stream. Like immediately just sitting there waiting for connections to load. So, yeah. They count it as a loss in the manual, but a win in the statistics. Yeah, no, it's a win in the statistics. It's 100% a win in the statistics. Actually, why don't I just go on Twitter and search uh, win statistics breakers or something? That will probably make more sense. Oh, no, fuck, I'll do it on the Reddit. Um, okay. Uh, okay, seems like the Reddit is having a hard time finding it. Uh, I guess the Reddit doesn't have it. Damn. Right then, I'll just go on Twitter. Fine, screw it. Who cares? Who cares? Use Pan as a level 3. Okay. I think I do own Pan, so... Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Vegeta, level 3. Even though I haven't had the chance to actually use you properly. Where is Pan? Oh, there she is. I'm literally on her, and I'm like, huh? Okay. There you go. I'm guessing she has a good base key blast. Um. All right. Do do do. Um, hey, Lord Adrian, thank you so much for the thirty dollar donation for Super Chess. Hey, buddy, if you get a chance to play Ginyu Force in the next round, get the Dragon Balls to go Ginyu faster. Good plan or no? No, as a raid, it's always a good plan to get the Dragon Balls, but you never actually need them, and I find it more fun to fight the level four. So yeah. Oh, what? Oh, th thank you again, Lord Adrian. Jesus, that I don't know. I don't know why that got me so bad. Okay. Um. Damn, there are people. There are people. I think there are people mad about me saying because I, I made a tweet like earlier today saying One Piece fans are the loudest and most annoying group of people known to man. Um, and I think people are mad at me about that. But guess what? I'm just not gonna read it. I don't care. I don't care. Be upset. Have your opinions. I have mine. Um. Okay. Dragon Ball. The Breakers. What's the win loss? Why? Why? Why is it just so? I don't even. I don't remember how they worded those tweets. I think I'm the raider. 
Yeah, I'm the Raider. I didn't buy Ginyu, by the way, so I'm very sorry. You're not going to see any Ginyu gameplay. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's... Fuck six, all right. They hated the tweet because they knew it was true. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't get Ginyu. Sorry about that, guys. You're not going to see him. Um, if you want to see Ginyu gameplay, I already made a video on it in the beta because I promise you it probably doesn't play any difference the way it plays now. You know which Raider we haven't played in a long time? Frieza. And we don't. We haven't faced any Freezers, right? We faced a Cell, a Vegeta. We didn't face a Boo, but fuck him. Um, I heard that they apparently changed Spurpovich. So Spurpovich doesn't share the same health bar as Boo anymore? Or something? Do you want to play Freezer or Spurpovich? You know, I think we see Boo less. So let me just pick... Let me pick Spurpovich. I think we see Boo less. Right? And Spurpovich is what everyone calls the struggle one. So, yeah. Uh, King Enron, thank you so much for $5 donation. And he says, was Adrian's donation enough for the vest... <laughs> for the vest and the gunner glasses? Yes. Yes, it was enough for the vest and the gunner glasses, indeed. Oh my god. But guys, I'm gonna need more support, okay? Okay, where, are the, where is the win-loss stats for this, man? Uh, I don't... I have no idea why it's so fucking hard to find this. Okay, fuck it. We're not gonna we're not gonna look for it. It's okay. It's fine. Um get all of the oh get rid of all the people. I thought it said get all the people. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just search the city first because we're already here. It's usually a godsend to spawn in the city. Because there's no imagination when you when it comes to looking around. You don't have to go in any caves, you can just blow shit up and then just peep inside. So We'll see if Spurpovich is still on the struggle bus. Oh, there's a person. Where am I? Um, where's my... How much energy do I gain? Okay, I gain quite a bit per person. What the fuck? Wait, what? Get that motherfucker. What? Wait, why did he rush me? What? I, I probably should have used my super attack to, to hit him because it would have gave me more energy, right? I would have got more energy if I used my super attack. Wait a minute, I think this guy rushed me simply because he didn't want to play the game. Because people do that in this game, right? They just rush the Raider and die instantly because they don't want to play Survivor. And they just keep trying until they get Raider. People do that a lot in this game, so yeah. Um. Okay, we'll just keep looking. I should have a lot of my energy now just because he, uh, he basically fed. So... Um... Cool, cool. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two actually. I'm such a nincompoop for not look. Oh, that's enough energy actually. That's enough energy. So now when I'm fat boo, I just need to grab three people and I'm done, right? So I know there's one guy back there, and I'll I'll find the rest on my own. Um, so cool. So now I have Gogo -Go Gum, one of the most annoying skills to avoid in the game. I also have an area destruction, but I'll save it for after I find the power key so that I can waste their time. So that way I could go, hey, did you finally find the power key? Cool. Now I can waste your effort. Um, I guess since I'm done eating the city, I might as well just actually go out and like do find shit now. Oh, there's a guy. He just ran behind this. So I'm going to fly up in case if he takes any... There we go. I didn't want to lose him flying around the corner, so it just made more sense to fly up. He's kind of laggy, though. All right, I hope I'm not eating too many people, because I, I don't want to waste my area destruction. I want to use it. Are you helping? Someone's trying to help. Someone just transformed. Oh, I guess I guess they're not trying to help, because they didn't show up. No, they did show up just late. Who, dude, who are you? Oh, I used that way too late. Okay. Are you teleporting away? You're not? Okay, well, you're not doing anything then. 
This guy must have got a memo. He must have missed a memo. Wait. Where did he go, actually? I didn't see him because of that tree. Are you serious? I didn't see him because he disappeared in the... I actually genuinely don't know where he went. I, I'm not even kidding. I actually don't know what he did. Because he was blocked off by the tree. That's actually... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Um, I only need one more person until I get to Super Boo. So I'll just... I'll just wait. I really should use my area destruction, though, before I get too carried away. I'll just, I'll just keep... If I, he's just, oh, there we go. There's someone. There's two people, actually. All right. Die, 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 die. Are you teleporting away? Where are you going? Oh, you're going that direction. Okay. Let me see if I can find a guy who is Super Saiyan. No? No? Okay, so the instant transmission guy went somewhere this way. That's where he was looking. That's probably him right now. This is the direction he was looking in. So I know this is the direction he teleported to. Hello. Oh, that's not him. That's somebody else. All right. You know what? We need to stop go-go gumming people. <laughs> I can do this all day. I can do this all day. Is this the glasses guy? Yeah, this is the guy with the glasses. He did teleport this direction. See? Told you. Told you. Let's destroy an area first. B, because they found the key for B. I'll destroy the area, then I'll absorb the gas. So that way I have an extra area destruction, a super boo. Then I can make the area even smaller. And then when I absorb them, blah, 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 blah. You know. You need to start go go watting people? I said go go gumming. Oh, they summoned Shenron. Nice. It's a shame I don't care. Understood. Um, can you stop fucking doing that? Did they revive the guy? Because if he's up, then he's dead permanently now. Oh, he's not. Alright. Can I get this before the level 4 gets me? Let's find out. Can you fuck off? Okay, well, you just killed yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you actually just killed yourself. I hope the level 4 remembers you. I hope the level 4 remembers you. Ooh, Bardox move. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. Um simple. I'm the radar. I don't I don't have to I don't have to think. I don't have to worry. There's no strategy in this. There's no strategy in this baby. There's no strategy in this baby. Didn't people say Fabu was a bad radar too? Like he he sucks. Because he has less skills. Don't people say that about Fat Boo? I didn't even use any of my supers. I didn't use any of my supers. Level 4, more like level boar. Oh, hey! Did he revive that guy with a sentry beam, then he died instantly? Is that what I just saw? He revived him, then he died instantly. Kaioken! Oh, that was amazing. I'll just blow up the escape time machine zone when it shows up, right? That's all I have to do. Because there's too many people alive right now. Um, oh, there's multiple, actually. Okay, I'll destroy this one. Then. No, I probably should have destroyed the other one, because it's easier to it's easier to see C than D. Oh, I should have destroyed D, because C is just easy to see. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, there you are. See, I guess someone would go there. Is that the only one? No, there's more propping up right now, but this is the only guy alive. So, you can't do anything. Hello. I would give you a fair chance, but people keep calling me bad at the game because survivors suck. So I'm just going to prove again why raiders are easy. And I didn't even reach level 4. Isn't this the one that people use the least? The one that's the worst raider? And I was loafing off. I was dicking around. Oh, wait. I shouldn't eat this guy yet because I need to destroy an area. Mm, wait a minute. Let me see if I can challenge myself by following the guy who used instant transmission. Based on the direction he's looking. I'm doing all the goofiest shit known to man. And it's just so easy. Oh. 
common level 50 w <laughs> yeah common common level 50 w they need to give sensu's re sensu revives invincibility the item is so bad yeah it's it's it genuinely trash the survivors were terrible but isn't that most survivors even when i fight survivors that actually do team together it's still a win with no stress you could tell when they team together because you could see the coordination in their actions. And I'm still like, okay. I'm glad you guys know how to fight as a team, but can you win? Nope. 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 It's like, it's not hard. Seriously. It's hard if you're a survivor, yes. But it's not hard as the raider. So, yeah. Unfortunate. Hey, Steve, have you seen the One Piece trailer for August? Oh, yeah, I have. Don't, 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 okay, don't get me wrong, but I have no interest in Gear 5. So, I'm sorry. I just keep hearing about, eh, this is going to be the most iconic anime transformation and it will change everything. That means as much as when Bardock said it. Fucking nothing. Like, What? No man of anime transformation can compare to this one. Why? Is the story building up to it really good? Is the power system to it really unique? Why will no other anime transformation compare? Or are you just saying that because you're just a fanboy? Come on, be real. Be real. Luffy's been fighting Kaido for like fucking three years. People want the fight to end. That's where most of the hype is going to come from. All right, where where is the? I'm still trying to find the win loss statistic. Hmm. Boop, boop. I missed the donation. Whoop, rip. Bad streamer alert. Bad streamer alert. Uh, Lord Adrian donates twenty dollars super chat. Says last question for the day: What is your favorite energy attack from the Dragon Ball series? I'm gonna sound super basic, but probably Kamehameha. Uh, let me think. Probably Kamehameha or one of the generic green key blasts that Broly like froze. And I say one of them because they have a different name like every fucking time. So yeah. I like the way Broly shoots his key blasts, and I like the way Kamehameha looks and the way it's done, so yeah. Oh, there's a post from two months ago. Things I've noticed as a new player. Uh, he has a lot of complaints. But he said he's a new player, so he can't be level 50. We're just going to ignore it. I'm not even going to read any of that shit. Uh, hmm. I don't know why it's so hard to find a win loss. I guess I'll just go to the breakers account and just scroll all the way fucking down again. But yeah, let's do that. Let us do that. Just scroll down to the last one. Final Flash is pretty dope. I love minus energy power ball. Yeah, th there's a lot of good key blasts in Dragon Ball. Uh, Steed, as I hear, people say Gear 5 would be iconic would be a lie and i'm a one piece fan the reason it won't be iconic is because it has not aged yet to have nostalgia i mean even if i had nostalgia there are many anime transformations that are old now and have nostalgia and they're not like iconic and they're not even what, what like ichigo with the fucking hollow mask is an old one no one brings that up ever even though people like jack off bleach relentlessly some transformations just get so old people just don't care anymore so i would say gear 5 would suffer less from nostalgia and they should more so be worrying about being forgotten. Right? There's so many old transformations in like anime in general. That like, oh yeah, this was cool when it came out. And like now no one cares. I would honestly say Super Saiyan Blue kind of falls into that category. It's not like super old or anything. But it's been out for so long. And you could tell people are just not interested. Like no one gives a fuck. 
Like, even though it's in Dragon Ball, the series that does have all the iconic transformations, Super Saiyan Blue is ass. No one cares. No one likes it. Super Saiyan God isn't as bad, but in series, it's treated like it's nothing. So, who cares? So, all I think is the same thing is just going to happen to Gear 5. People are going to keep, even after it comes out, people are going to keep jacking off relentlessly, saying... Oh my god, it's so hype. It was so much better than Ultra Instinct. It's so insane. It's uh, the most iconic transformation known to man. It's gonna change. There was one really fucking autistic tweet I read about it. That shit was... That, um, that shit just was just so dumb and so like... Try hard appeal to like... Fucking brainless One Piece, mouth drooling One Piece fans. That want to be recognized so badly. It was just such an obnoxious tweet. Dude, it's gonna be so epic. It's gonna be just gonna change the landscape of anime forever. Okay. Alright. Cool. I'm pretty sure Gojo getting stabbed, like what yeah, yesterday, is gonna get more traction than Gear 5. So it's like, come on. Come on. Um, alright. I'm still trying to find this win-loss tweet. It's been... Oh, there we go. November. November of... November of... Uh, November 10th last year. So, here we have the results. This is the win rate. The rate... Okay. So, Raider win rate right after Season 2 launches and then two weeks after. I think that's what that says. So, right after Season 2 came out, Raiders have a 64% win rate. Uh, Raider victories, including reaching the time limit. And then they they get 18% of their win rate from survivors leaving. So there you go. Uh, and then two weeks after, it went down to 52% win rate. And then 15% survivors leave or some shit. And then the survivor win rate, immediately after... Uh, this is, I think this is for season two, not even season three or anything. I'm pretty sure this is for season two. Um, in season two, the survivors had a 41% win rate the moment, um, you know, the season two update came out. And 11% uh, of that win rate comes from escaping. It says right here, survivor victory by successful escaping. Doesn't say survivor loss. It says victory. So whoever said it didn't count. You guys are smart. You form your own opinions. If someone says something and it's so blatantly wrong and it gets proven to be wrong, you stop listening to them. They're not a reliable source of information anymore. So if you catch anyone saying anything about, oh, they don't, uh, actually the devs don't count it as a win. They're just fucking wrong. So, yeah. Um, so the survivors are technically supposed to have a 30% win ratio in season 2 and I thought that was okay because if, if we're not counting escape time machines then survivors have a 30% win ratio in season 2 and it later changed to a 40% so yay yay guys survivors went up 10 whole percent and then they buffed raiders so it definitely went down again but they didn't show it they, they never show it like, when they made that giant key blast fuck up, I don't think they showed the win-loss ratio for that because they knew that shit looked horrible. They knew that shit looked trash and they didn't want to show it. So, yeah. I was going off the manual. Well, it's Bandai Namco, all right? They'll say one thing here, then they'll say another thing there. So they probably just haven't got all of their sources right. Because they, right here on Twitter, they count it. I'll, I'll, I'll just link the tweet, actually. I can just put it in the chat so you guys can see it. There you go. Don't spend too much time on Twitter, for it's bad for your brain. But there's the there's the tweet. Um, If you go on it, it says, Raider, Raider victory by survivor escaping and survivor victory by survivors escaping. Like, the Raider will still get the victory if the survivors escape. It's just telling you 
what percent of survivors escape when they fight raiders. Um, and then the survivor one is actually getting a win for leaving. So, yeah. I had to deal with a coward level 4 Gohan and he was my teammate. It was dumb. Yeah, it sucks to have cowardly teammates. Also sucks to have teammates that just in, like rush in. For example, that, that level 4 Bardock, I mean, he wasn't a fucking issue at all. But he didn't even wait for his... To be fair, there was not that much of his team alive either. So he didn't have many cards to play. Um, But yeah, basically, he rushed in with basically no support. And rightfully, I ripped him apart. And I'll still get people saying that I'm the one who's bad at the game. Despite the fact that I acknowledge you shouldn't do that. I can't help it if my teammate, for example... Let's say if I was the survivor in that match. If my teammate, for example doesn't acknowledge he shouldn't be rushing in alone i can't control that doesn't matter how good i'm at, i'm at the, at the game it's a team-based game and it's way too team-based good thing how fucking op the raider is so yeah doesn't matter if i'm good at the game doesn't matter if i'm good enough to recognize hey don't rush in to level four that's stupid oh look my teammate's doing it so who cares you guys have seen matches where, where i'm the level four and i wait for the raider to come to me or I just wait for my teammates to be in position before we jump him. Because I know, and then people tell me I don't use fucking teamwork. Because I fucking know that you shouldn't rush in. Because the raider is so OP, level 4 survivor can't do fucking anything. But I'm the one who gets told I don't know how teamwork, teamwork works. I'll see you're bad at the game, actually. The issue's all with you. The game's perfectly balanced, obviously. And that's what they said about Gundam Evolution. What, what happened to Gundam Evolution again? Shut down? Whoa, no way. Because they made a bunch of bad business decisions? Oh, fuck. Who could have guessed? No one could have guessed this. No one would have ever said anything about this. No one has ever predicted this before. Holy shit. This isn't even about I'm always right. This is about I hate being right because it's about something I'm passionate about. I don't want to be right about a bad scenario. But as it turns out, that might be what I get anyways. I like being right when it's like, oh my god, I wonder which sick thing they're going to reveal. And then I'm right about the reveal. I don't like being right about, oh, the game's unbalanced and it's going to die. And then that does happen. You know, so, yeah. Gonna head out. Ah, oh, see ya, baby Yoda. Hope you and everyone has a good night. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I think I might legitimately make a video on asymmetric survival horror win conditions. I've heard so many different takes from so many different people for so many different games. Yeah, it really depends on the game, but in Breakers, the developers straight up just tell you what they count as a win. Whether it's you beat the Raider, the Raider beats you, uh, or if you escape. Those are the only... For Raiders, if you want to win, kill all the survivors have time run out while you're fighting the survivors or win while having survivors escape. For survivors, if you want to win, kill the raider, activate the super time machine or run away. Those are the free survivor wins. The devs have already told us so there shouldn't be any confusion. Doesn't matter what they say in the manual because no one's ever going to go by what the manual says. The stats are right there. Stats over manual any day. Because if the manual tells you, oh, escaping isn't how you win in fact. And then the stats come out and say, oh, survivors have a 70% win ratio because they're escaping all the damn time now. Which one, are you, which one is going to sound more serious to you? Which one's going to matter more for the community of the game? Which one's going to get talked about more? The fucking manual or the stats that prove to you everyone's playing prop right now. No one's playing the game. They're just waiting for the escape time machine and running the fuck out of there. You know? So, yeah. Um, that's, that, that's it. I just wanted to, to point out the, the statistics again. Since it was, for some reason, extremely uh, confusing. Yeah. Uh, then the game material contrasts the developer statement and the manual needs to be changed, but then they're not changing it so yeah i could see the controversy yeah it's just it's just an endless spiral p 
people still read the manuals? I thought that was only a joke. Yeah, who knows? I mean, we still have time for a few more matches. But let's let's. Be, I'm gonna read the, the survivor guides that they put out. Oh, is this long? This is very long. Okay. Let me not do this while a match is starting. Actually, let's read the survivor guides. I've been told I don't know how to play survivors, so I'll learn from Bandai Namco. Because if they're defending Bandai Namco so much, then surely I can trust in Bandai Namco's words, right? Right. So there shouldn't be any complaints? All right, cool. In Dragon Ball The Breakers, the goal of the survivor is to escape the temporal seam while avoiding the radar. Well, that already contradicts what everyone said about the escape time machine. They straight up say escape right there. So that's the first fucking line. The only thing before that is the title. The title is A Guide to Survive in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Then the first line is, In Dragon Ball The Breakers, the goal of the survivor is to escape the, sem the, sem is to escape the temporal seam while avoiding the radar. So everyone everyone who said the manual said, the manual doesn't fucking love you because it just, it just threw you under the bus. The manual just threw you under the bus right now. I'm not kidding. The manual just told you to go fuck yourself. That's rough. That's rough. That's extremely rough. The beginning of the game as a survivor is is decisive because it's when the raider is not at its full power level yet. This is why our main goal should be to focus on finding as many power keys as possible along with the resources such as your skills, vehicles, and radars since they will have utility for most of the phases of the match. Each survivor tries to focus on the zones that are not too crowded by their allies. This way resources can be shared more homogeneously across the team and it is less likely that some players will fall prey to raiders when exploring so hold on even as a low level they tell you to avoid the raider not fight it or jump it like everyone else tells you to do which is accurate because the raider is super op even in the early levels first one cell can bully you if he catches you at any point not first one cell in the fucking stupid larvae cell larvae cell has such a hard time dying because if you if you have the brain to know to not make 90 percent of survivors melee him for some reason but if you have a brain to know oh i'm just not gonna melee him because his melee will just kill me, and I'm going to key blast him. He's just going to sit in a cave or just rush down civilians because he, he's allowed to do that. He'll just ignore you. He'll just go, okay, cool. You don't have much dragon change, and guess what? For some bizarre reason, they let the raider see how much dragon change a survivor has just so the raider can know, oh, I'll bully this person now because they have the least gauge, and then I'll bully this person, and then that person, and now there's no one left to fight me. Raiders can literally pick which target is the most weakest at any point in the fight. That's why I find it so easy to be a raider even when I'm being jumped. Because I just know, oh, this person has the lowest gauge. I'll just attack them. Because that means they're doing less support for the whole team. Because now they're gone. It doesn't matter if I take damage. It's just easier than trying to fight the, the strongest person. That just makes more sense, objectively. That's why I never, fu that's why I never fucking lose as the raider. And now here we go. They're telling you at early stages you should be using it to build resources, not punch the radar. Beating the radar in his early stages is a fucking bonus, not the objective. It's a bonus for being lucky. That's it. So there you go. Um, when exploring, you can also find crates on the field and destroy them with your attack in order to get items like change power and zenith. Zenith can use for vending machines on the field. Reading the state of the game quickly is essential. Essential to making the best decisions and escape from the temporal scene on time. The game interface will help greatly in this, right? And then they tell you everything that's on the game interface. Drag with the breakers are five zones of power key. Okay, we already know about the power keys. Yeah, we already know about that. Whenever it's a zone labeled like E, make sure to look around for glowing pillars of yellow light, which signals where the key must be set. And the Raider's evolution bar. Knowing your enemy. Did they put out any guides on how to play the Raider? Because if they didn't, that, that, that just makes me even more correct. Um, knowing your enemy is essential, so keep close, see, keep a close eye on them on this area of your screen, which sure the raiders help on the evolution. The health bar will tell you how close the raider is to defeat when its health is too low and occasionally drops. There's most likely a fight happening. If your resources are laugh of that, consider joining in the fight to add pressure on the raider and maybe even defeat it. Maybe. Careful for some raiders evolve when they are defeated. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? You should help your teammates fight the radar, but if the radar evolves, uh, maybe don't do that. And then people tell you, oh, just jump the radar. The, game, the, the people who made the game are telling me not to, so I'm just not going to. 
In general, when you play as a survivor, pay extreme attention to the level of the raid. The higher the level is, the more powerful it gets. So try avoiding fighting when the level is high. Um, okay. As a last tip, keep an eye on how close the raid is to evolve. Once its gauge level is filled in red, the evolution will trigger and the raid will unlock new skills and become an even bigger threat. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. A little menu on the side of the screen. Blah, blah, blah. Advanced tip. Keep in mind which skills are more useful to escape an ambush from the radar and which ones are more useful to simply navigate the map. Try to preserve the former in case you unexpectedly encounter him and use the latter more frequently to traverse long distances faster. Okay. Dragon change is the most useful to delay the radar and distract him or even damage him. Using it will allow you to draw power from your transfers and take uh, resemblance to a super warrior to oppose the radar for a limited time. Okay. We already know of this. God damn it. Um, the loading screens literally tell you to abandon your teammates yeah but then people tell you to work as a team and that you're an idiot for doing it and then when you point out that the game tells you to abandon them uh, it's just one loading screen tip bro okay so if it's just one of something I should just fucking ignore it now so if it's just one of you telling me to do the thing I should just ignore it that's like when are people just going to accept the game should be more balanced and everyone would be happier Right, everyone who who played the game since the days of old will always tell you the first beta was the best because it was, it was extremely balanced. Man, Ugh, all right. Well, let's let's try and skim through this because they're just telling stuff I already. So they're just telling me stuff I already know. Moving around the map. Um. Okay. Or some grappling device. Oh, interesting. Interesting that you know grappling device and Saiyan pod. That's interesting. Um, oh, is that the bomber bike? No, that's the regular. That's the regular vehicles that are found around the map. Okay. Um, hovering device. You can use to extend the distance cover, then a jump or fall, which is useful. No, okay, we already know that. Control scheme, and that's the end. Okay, so now they have a second one, which is items and strategies to surviving. So barrier recovery device. I know what that is. Sent no, this is just telling you what the items do. Are you serious? You would know that from just playing the game. They just fucking lie. Yajirobi's Katana. Yajirobi's Katana has been added from Season 2 of Dragon Ball The Breakers. This item only spawns on the narrator is Saiyan Prince Vegeta. By using this Katana, you can add massive damage against Great Ape. Massive? Massive. It's the same as a regular melee attack to his tail. That's massive by their standards. If that's massive, we're fucked. That means they're never buffing anything. That's If that's massive by their standards, we're completely fucked. That means they'll never buff anything. Massive. Massive is a level one melee combo. Exactly. It does half a health bar. That's massive, bro. It's not like all it takes is for Great Vegeta to do like a free. He pushes his fucking controller stick down like this to turn around, and then he does that, and you fucking die instantly. You take half a bar of health away. You die, and you drop the katana. And there's a very high chance no one's going to pick it up again to do another half of his bar before they instantly fucking die. Jesus. Emotion, emotional damage. Using the items in practice. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. So, Yajirobi's Katana does massive damage. So, guys, remember, if you see anyone saying Yajirobi's Katana does too little damage, say no. It does massive damage, actually. And and let me... Tell me what they say to you after you tell them that. Tell me... Uh, don't tell me the parts where they swear at you. Because I don't, I don't need to hear that. But just... See if they have something... Nice to say when you tell them. Actually, it does massive damage. I swear to God, the devs have to be playing a different version of the game. Where, like, the multipliers are different. There's no way. Because that massive damage is the, is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. Next up, when they tell me that Santa Claus isn't real. What fucking bullshit. Oh, Santa's not real. Because how can the man travel around the world that fast? He's smart. He's different. You just couldn't understand. Duh. Non-believer. Um, 
So yeah, the survival guide for breakers is a. Uh... Well, I would just say I wouldn't recommend it to, to um any player. Yeah, if the katana is massive damage, then super attacks are unfair damage. So yeah. Look at the wind conditions on the survival guide. I don't think it was any different. You mean in the game? I'm not sure if they have. The Actually, wait. Do they have? Do they still keep the patches on this news board? Notice of the shop lineup. All right. Cool. Don't care. Awesome. Nice. Ooh. Ooh interesting stuff. I don't care about. Nice. Message on the development team. We changed some shoes around. Nice. Star Festival event. So you can get a blue Vegeta outfit. The Purunga thing is almost worth it. I'm not kidding. Purunga, Purunga is very cool. Him going like this is... is if the game was balanced, I'd really like a scenario where people are messing around with the emotes in the game. Right? Everyone's fucking up the radar and people are spamming like this. While the raiders getting fucked up. It kind of like... Okay, so... Very off topic. But Monster Hunter Try... Um, has a private server. The community for Monster Hunter made a private server for Monster Hunter Try. So if you have Monster Hunter Try emulated on Dolphin... You can go play on those private servers. And have a blast playing Monster Hunter Try online again. You play that game online... And you have people spamming their auto chats... And all their messages... In the, in the, in the hunts. Because it's fun to do that. Even though Monster Hunter Try is one of the most bullshit Monster Hunter games, right? People are having fun spamming these emotes and stuff like that. When people use their emotes in Breakers, it's out of annoyance. People are using the Margin Boot Angry. People are using the Dead one. They're using the Help Me one. No one's using emotes like, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going. Yeah, that's good shit, man. Because it's, it's rough. It's rough out here. Man, all right. Well... Um, okay. Star Festival campaign. No one cares. Defender of Justice. Oh. Okay. What does Defender of Justice do? Is this for Great Saiyan Man 1? Increases the range at which you can hear civilians calling for help. Okay. Use this. Don't tell me it's an active skill. Use the Defender skill and the civilian radar to rescue even more civilians. Okay. I see how that's useful. You could stop the radar from evolving so fast. That one's, that one's good. Right? But for how unbalanced the game is, it's a bit risky to put it on and rather have, have something on that can let me live longer. But yeah, alright. That one's not bad. Cool. City Defender. Increase the amount of items received when rescuing civilians. Use the Defender of Justice skill and the civilian radar to rescue even more civilians. Okay. Alright. That one's also good. I think that one's nice. Um, if it's only one extra dragon change box, that's fucking shit. Um, but if you get more items from it, then it's good. You, you already get free from rescuing a civilian, right? So if they just add one more, that would be extremely ass. So I hope it's not that. But yeah, that, that's good on paper. On paper, it's good. Uh, World Champion's Grandchild increases the money earned when picking up Zenny. Okay, that one's not useful because we have the Videl one. That one's way better. You just start with the money. This one is exclusively if every box you open is, is, is money. And then that's also if there's any vending machines around you. And then if the raider also didn't destroy them. So this one's just shit. Um, is that it? That's that whole update? Oh, and then the season 3 update that ruined everything. I want to say that ruined everything. But honestly, the, the, game, the game keeps getting updates that ruin everything. You're like, alright, there's no way they can do worse. All right, there's no way they can make the game worse. And then you insert the video of the guy sliding in on ice skates and jumping in and doing a massive slam dunk. And then it's the next update. Oof, all right. <sighs> okay, so they made survivors do less damage to the radar in all of their forms. That's pretty bad, but there's no way they can make it worse. <sighs> Boom. Okay, so they buffed the radar's key blasts to be undodgeable and do massive amounts of fucking damage. But there's... There's no way it can be worse, surely. Next update. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. There's, there's patch notes, cool. What did they do in the patch notes? Oh, they didn't, they didn't have to raid those key blasts? Boom! All right. It's looking rough out here, boys. We've been suffering for o with OP key blasts for like a month straight. But surely next time they'll fix it. <laughs> oh, they actually fixed it this time. Nice. All right, cool. Guys. 
Guys, the game's getting better, see? They listened. Oh, what's the next update? What's that? Oh, they buffed Frieza. Boom! Now Frieza's stronger than when he had the OP key blasts. Bitch! <sighs> Guys, this is looking rough. Frieza became the strongest raider overnight. <sighs> How can we fix it? I've got it. Oh, are we going to nerf Frieza, sir? No, we're going to buff Cell. We'll make him stronger than Frieza. <sighs> yes, when people stop using Frieza so much. <sighs> High five. <sighs> Good idea. And I'm just sitting here suffering. It's just... it's <sighs> The balance decisions are so comical, it's almost a joke. It's almost a, straight up just a fucking joke. Oh. Where did we go so wrong? Surely us as a Dragon Ball community collectively did something horrible in our past lives because this is this is what we get this is what we get so we clearly fucked up we clearly did do something wrong and i and i shudder to imagine what kind of horrid things we did in our past lives if this is the treatment we're getting now do 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 imagine if they nerfed survivors active skills they already have nerfed several so yeah i, I really like that you guys have been using these the whole stream like <laughs> You guys really like those. Um, I wonder if you can make custom versions. I hope. But who knows? Tell us on life support or sells bad in season three? Rip. Because when the uh, cell buff update came out, the one that made him evolve like fucking instantly, that was, that was so fun. It was so fun to just like be like one second in and Larve Cell is in uh first form and then first form cell eats fucking like three people and then second form eats two people and it's just so fucking fun he needs less people the higher the level he goes yes yes obviously yes yes make it harder for the survivors what is wrong with you okay um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I guess we should just start the next match, right? So screw it. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna miss not being the raid over. Now I have to suffer again, which is... Damn. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. Season 6, still no radar queue. Who knows if radar queue will come back? The intention is clearly to not let people have fun because they would just keep radar queue for all of the people who claim Survivor is so fucking good. Keep playing Survivor. You keep playing that. I don't want to play it. Oh, uh, Radio Q broke matchmaking. It made it take uh, too long to find a match. You mean the way the game has always been? You fucking weirdo. And then you had people, you had like these fucking four-year-olds complaining, saying, oh, the Radio Q takes too long to find a match. Yes. Because you're going to be the Radio guaranteed. Would you rather spend 10 minutes searching to be the Raider or several matches that take 10 minutes each until you can be the Raider? And then even then, there's a chance you won't be because it's called a priority queue, meaning they might give it to a different motherfucker, meaning you have to spend another extra 10 minutes not being the Raider. Or you could just wait 10 fucking minutes, put a YouTube video on the side, play Dokkan Battle or Legends on your fucking phone, watch TV until you hear of a... Dun, 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 of like the of the character like screen happening then you can go dun, 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 and you start seeing vegeta and nappa walk out of the smoke in your peripheral view and you start going oh my match has started cool yeah awesome nice no 
just take Raider Q out of the game. It only lived for one day. Dragon Ball The Breakers was at its most fun for one day. That's so sad. That is so depresso expresso. All right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Me who doesn't play breakers and doesn't understand any of this, it'd be like that. I'm so sorry. I just want to blood see the manual. Yeah, sorry. I I still don't know whether whether manual even is in the game. I'm sure it's just in the options because that's where they. Because you don't have physical manuals anymore. They're just all shoved into the uh, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? But no, but the issue with these digital manuals we get is that they're way less intricate than uh, than the physical manuals we used to get. I guess because they figured they could do it online, that no one would look at it, and they could just not do it right. I guess. Uh, Pecos saying, Steve, you missed a donation. I'm so sorry that I did. I need to see if I can find it now. Do you mean Lord Adrian's? I did read that one out. That's, that's, what's, that's what the stream is telling me is the last donation, at least. I'd say their true power level is somewhere around 60,000. Unless if it's just not right. Oh, it's a level 65 Ginyu. Oh. I, an amazing captain? I could probably just take a piss and not play this match and I'll live for the exact same amount of time if I actually played it. Okay. Well, let's give it our best. Let us give it our all. Ugh. Can you hear me? It's Trunks. I've set a super time machine, as well as a crate of supplies. Here's how to launch. Find the power keys, then place them in the right spots. I'm saying someone will die in the first two minutes. That's an average for breakers. Someone always dies in the first two minutes. If someone doesn't die in the first two minutes, then you're in a different match. You, you've you entered the rare 1% match. Someone. someone! See, have you ever played the Tokaiden series? It's just like Monster Hunter. Um, I've never played any Monster Hunter likes. So I'm very sorry for that. Um, and I think the issue is I, I do like Monster Hunter too much, and it's a formula that Capcom has kind of perfected to the point where they're allowed to literally just fuck around with it. Like, they're allowed to even make dumb decisions or some gameplay decisions that make the game easier. No, and the game will still get a pass because it's just good. No time flat. Like, yeah. So, hmm. Because you always get weird arguments like, oh, why wouldn't you give Wild Hearts a try? And I'm like, eh, it doesn't look good. Oh, yeah, that's because it's the first in, in their series, so that's why. Uh, no, that's not an excuse. They literally can just... You have a... Your, your groundwork and whole concept is based on Monster Hunter, right? So you have an idea how the game should be, which is good. And you didn't, and you didn't get it right on your first try? Hear me out. You could say, wait a minute, you're only giving them one try? No, it's not that I'm only giving them one try. Their investors are only giving them one fucking try. And they fucked it up. So, yeah, that's why I'm not interested. You can, lit you can literally copy someone else's homework and then just add things that would make the game better. Alright, let's add, let's add gameplay kind of like this, except with insane fucking EA graphics that we have access to, right? Okay, cool. Now we just need to add some of that. Okay, yeah, yeah, make sure you do it like that. Make sure you add some sort of like super attack as well. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that we've literally just copied them, but better graphics, now this is the part where we put our own unique spin on it. This is the part where we introduce things like fucking different kinds of transportation. Maybe you don't have to run to every zone. You can just pull on a support vehicle like a wagon that will take you to the next zone. Maybe this is the part where we can introduce different things like zones that are exclusive, like underwater zones. Monster Hunter doesn't have the fucking balls to do it anymore. So you can do it. You know, this is your chance to be like, we can add unique features, so we should do it. And instead, they just make a fucking boring Monster Hunter clone. So no, I'm not giving them a second chance. And their investors won't either. So 
Sorry, bye. You failed. You had one shot and you fucked up, so goodbye. So I'm not invested in a lot of Monster Hunter clones. So I'm not invested in a lot of clones in general. Like, even Souls clones. Okay, to be fair, Souls, Souls has a bit more success. Yeah, you have games like Neo 2, which are just fucking, like, actually amazing. Um, so, yeah. And I, have, I haven't played Wolong yet. I'm sure Wolong is also good, but it doesn't have it doesn't have the ability to turn into a demon like Neo 2, so... Sorry. Sorry. I can't turn into a demon? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Sorry, bro. I just want to be a demon, that's it. I am not using my power key right there, but that's because I can't go anywhere without this guy turning around and seeing me just butt booty naked. So... I do want to be a team player right now. Actually, you know what? He's shooting people right now. He's not going to turn around. But I need to go to A, which is still around. And B has already had its power key found. And C, I, I just did that. And E, we're in E right now. Okay. We're in E right now. Not good. Someone is down. Can you help them? Hmm. Okay. Any second now. Any second now. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. All righty, let's go. He wasted his area destruction. He didn't get to use it as raccoon, so now he's just lost it. I mean, he'll still win because this is a raid that you don't even have to win the stages with to win. You could literally just die four times in like the first like two minutes of the. You could die no, not four times. You could die three times. In the first two minutes of the match. And then be level four where everyone is stuck on Dragon Change level one and two. And then you tell me how that how that's going to go. You can literally force yourself to die at the beginning. So you can get level four as soon as possible. The only difference to not doing that is that when you get to level four, if you don't die, is that the level four is way stronger. But the difference between a normal level four, which would just be Frieza and Cell... And boo. And then the difference between Ginyu's buff level 4 is fucking absolutely gargantuan. Boy, so. Scouted, you ordered. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, this is it. Alright. It's kind of higher, so I'm surprised the. I'm surprised that the, the radar didn't tell me it was higher. And we can get much higher, higher, so high. high oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 can we get much higher? Oh, yeah, 99% keys, so you don't get camped by raiders, yeah. Um, I'm at the, I'm at the only mod here now, maybe. One Piece is real. Okay. Yippee. The power creep is real. Who knows? Okay, well, we just need to go to B. Because the people who were there earlier couldn't do it. Probably because the raider hasn't left this one area of the fucking sky. He probably knows where the area B key is. He's probably just camping it, right? Because he probably saw people going for it. And he knows all of the others are done, so now he can just camp this one. So I guess this is an escape time machine match because there's no realistic way the three of us who are still alive are going to hold him down long enough for one person to do the escape. Oh, he, he's forcing a super time machine because it gives him more time to hunt us down. God damn it. Because if, if this person if this person died right now, the escape time machine would show up. But because it's not three people left, because he's going to he's going to force the super time machine. Now we have to wait for him to destroy it just to get the escape time machine. See, I know these things because I know the game, but apparently I don't know what a learning curve is. Even though I... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, I guess I just wait now. Oh, yeah. He's probably just going to leave it on low health, then he's going to start hunting for the rest of the match. So, we're going to do a pro gamer move. And hide. Like a bitch. If he goes after me first, I'll hear the heartbeat thing. And then I'll just teleport to someone else. So, yeah. Um, someone just got feasted on. Did you? Were you there? I don't, do I, I don't have any Dragon Balls, right? Oh, uh, how do you emote again? Alright. Uh, 
Hey, I can't do anything of those, man. How many is that? Six? No, I'm good. That's yours. Go operate. Oh, can you do a big Ginyu Force pose? I don't see where you'd get the time to do that in this game. The game actively encourages survivors not being next to each other. He doesn't play Myra and Breakers anymore because the hitbox is so big. Yeah, that's the reason. Um, okay. Raider probably has the last Dragon Ball. You ended up. Now I'm covered in dirt. Sorry, better. Oh, sweet. This lets me see outside. Nice. Noob exploit. Up oh, now he's, he's getting you. There you go. Drinking up them civilians. <laughs> How do you rate your experience with solo queue? It's honestly the same as when I'm with a group. When you're with a group, there's slightly more coordination, but it barely matters against the overwhelming might of the raider. Do -do -do -do. Do 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 I'm in trouble now. Did he see me? Oh he did. Oh we saw this guy. Captain Oh he just took the Dragon Balls, right? He, did he just take the Dragon Balls from that guy? Yeah. Now, state your wish. I shall grant you any wish that you desire. Alright, make a wish. It shall be done. Heal my wounds. <laughs> that's the most flex wish ever, because you never You're need it. Mistaken. That's one of the Dragon Balls, isn't it? Coward Gaming. This is the way they want me to play the game. This is literally an impossible scenario. We'll see which one of these two gets to the escape time machine first, then I'll just jump onto it. We Coward Gaming. Hey, when the <laughs> no, don't make me I'm I'm wait, I'm pressing it. What? Hello? Wait, what? I'm Fuck it, go. Leave me, leave me. <laughs> just keep going, just go, just go. I, I'm I'm legit pressing it and nothing's happening. I'm legit pressing it and nothing was happening. I'm not kidding. Well, it's just us now. I was legit pressing and nothing was happening. And people are gonna... People are de defending this? They don't even have... They they can't even iron out the bugs. Is he gonna turn into Pan? He's gonna turn into Pan, right? Is that my level 4? Yeah. I can't believe these Discord mods did this to this poor girl. Someone needs to free her. So, so clearly that was a skill issue on my part, right? We all we all knew we were gonna teleport to the escape time machine and get out. And then I I pressed the get on button, and nothing happens. So that so that was obviously my fault. Okay, at least I was able to save my teammates. But why didn't it work? Honestly, it must have been a skill issue on my part. I guess my gaming chair isn't sick enough, you know?
My gaming chair isn't cool enough. That's why I. That's why when I pressed Y to get on multiple times from different angles around the time machine, it never worked. I even jumped and I pressed it, and it didn't work. It's not like the time machine was too high because I'm getting the prompt anyways, and I grabbed the time machine from from worse angles. So. my y button broken let's check is my y is my y button broken we're, we're gonna switch the desired radar roll okay i don't think it's broken so i need a different answer as to what happens just now level 49 player issue <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Well, unlike DSP, you can actually say the game actually screws you over and it cannot be. Well, yeah, at that time I actually did just get screwed over. Like, we had ample time to jump on that time machine. So I, I did everything from taking my time to mashing it. And there was no difference. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me press the Y button right now to speak to the event robot. Oh, it worked. Why do you still have a notification? I don't have anything else to grab from you. Now he's just being annoying. He just wants my attention, huh? Okay, there's the manual robot. So, let me see. Is it wind conditions or something? Um, Escape? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this for Raider or me? Okay, well, whatever. Chasing down escaping to you didn't raid the startup system the rate game is no survivors can still escape by calling the escape time machine if it hasn't been destroyed. The raid will try to prevent that from happening by hunting down survivors and preventing making it out alive. There's only one escape time machine. If you have a chance to escape, do it. The allies can use the machine too and you secure the signal beacon for themselves. But be careful. If the raid destroys the escape time machine, they win right then and there. Startup system is destroyed. The survivors can still pull off victory if they manage to take down the radar. Okay. Um, I must have been reading the wrong part because they, they didn't call it a loss there. Survive as a survivor. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Activating the super time machine. Uh, okay. The super time machine area. Super time machine is you'll find the release for the keys in each box. Up to the red school starts up the device to appear in the of the field and move the game into the defense phase. Avoid being detected in general. Make use of your skills. Find items. Uh, okay. In general, you should use the terrain to your advantage and hide from the radar. Make use of skills. Use skills to hunt for items more effectively and get away from the radar more easily. Once you use skills, will be available again after a short time. So use them while you can find the items. Try to find useful items by searching for item boxes around the field or by breaking destructible objects. Or power from super warriors. You should collect your dragon chain and increase your dragon chain. Now perform a change and you'll have enough power to contend with the radar. You transform back as a boss. Use it additionally. With the, uh, I don't see anything about the super time or escape time machine. One at the bottom. Precautions and penalties? <sighs> I... Dude, are you sure you're a Dragon Ball fan? You're reading after all. Has anyone ever had a, a limit placed on them in during matchmaking? I don't think I've ever seen or I've heard or heard of it. It's one of the ones near the bottom, okay. So is it end of game and rewards? No. Types of radar? No. Items? Maybe it's a fucking type of radar, okay. Super time machine power keys? 
Any power key found by one survivor will be shared with all survivors, meaning anyone can place the key where it needs to be in the area. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Is it the escape phase? I assume that's the only relevant one. Defense phase. Um, okay, conflict between the survivors. The raiders will start with the rest of the rest and continue with the rest. Why long enough till the gauge? Normal attacks concentrate the totem system. That was protect the totem system must continue to protect one of the court of super time again. Blah, 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 blah. Start vision the game will transition to the escape phase. See the escape phase just for more. Start vision with the super time machine active. Okay, if the startup system is destroyed, the game will transition to the escape phase. Look at the escape phase. But the escape phase doesn't say anything about it being a loss. Didn't we confirm this? It's a game overview. Okay. Game oh, game overview at the end of it? On defense page or? The fuck? Here. Okay. If the escape time machine is destroyed in the search phase, the radar wins right when the escape time machine is destroyed after the venture is all the radar. Will not win however if they destroyed the starts survivors won't be able to okay well i probably went too far as soon as the three survivors remain in the search phase the escape time machine signal beacon will appear in a random area giving you the option to escape if more survivors are taken out more signal beacons through the pri this prison survivors have a choice escape or find the power key start of the super time machine win conditions survival win conditions successfully start the super time machine or defeat the radar is that it that's why i've been spending all this time looking for this it doesn't matter because they don't count this this has been in the game since the fucking beginning and they still count Survivors escaping as a win. This, this hasn't changed since it's been in the game. They can say this all they like, but they tell you it's a win on Twitter. They just haven't updated this, I guess. When do they ever update anything in a Dragon Ball game without forcing you to pay for it first? Well, so here's the issue. The manual, the thing that probably most people didn't fucking read, and is mostly incorrect by most sources, right? Even by the devs who tell you, yeah, bro, just escape in it, fam. We count as a win in it. The manual says, oh, escaping isn't a win. Um, the, the win-loss statistics tell you escaping is a win. And the game tells you to escape when you have no more options. Because it would be better than just losing instantly, right? Imagine if the super time machine got destroyed and then you just instantly lost. That's what the game should be then, if, the, if, if escaping isn't a win. And then there's also the fact that on a personal, like, human standpoint, you didn't win. So you at least want the, the dopamine satisfaction of escaping. So even if the game didn't count it as a win, all the statistics or anything else... You would still want that, at least for yourself. So, so why should I take this over everything else? The real answer is that I shouldn't. Because the game devs will still count it as a win. The game devs are still buffing raiders because they think survivors have it 50-50 because of this. So this is a win. Doesn't matter what the game says, this, is, this does count as a win. Escape Time Machine is the hatch in Dead by Daylight. It's surviving without winning. You can survive and not win. Well, the game developers count as a win. I don't know if they do that in Dead by Daylight, but they definitely do that here. So, you guys are just football posting like crazy. <laughs> like American football posting. All right. Well, I guess until they, until they update the win-loss to tell us that that survivors escaping doesn't mean shit. Then I guess we won't know. Because for the longest time, everyone has been like, wait, why would they count survivors escaping as a win? That doesn't make any sense. It's clearly a loss. And now when there's no other options, and we want to count it as a win because they keep telling us, it's a win, it's a win, it's a win, it's a win. Now suddenly it's not a win. So I want, at what, at what, at what point... Does it become very obvious that they don't want survivors to win? 
They say, oh, guys, it's fine because escaping counts as a win. That's why you guys are so equal with Raiders. Well, we don't think it is a win. Oh, you don't think it's a win? All right. Buff the Raider to be so OP, there's no way you could fight them. Oh, okay. We're going to escape it now since the devs call it a win anyways. Actually, no, it's not. It's like someone who keeps changing the rules so that way their OC can always beat you because they don't like you. Someone who keeps moving the goalpost because it's been it's because it's good for them. It's 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 rough. Forget Dragon Ball the Breakers. Play average American student student freedom. I don't know if I want to play as an average American student. It, it's been kind of bad over there since COVID. I don't know if I want to take that risk. Don't take for a risk. Okay, yeah. Um, it becomes obvious when they get rid of level three, they eventually, then eventually level two, then level one, then perma level zero. That's when survivors have been sufficiently nerfed. Yeah, it feels like they do that because everyone, every single time they host a poll of like, oh guys, what do you, what do you guys want the balance to be like? Everyone always votes buff survivors, nerf raiders, and then they just don't do that. Hey, remember when they added the report system in the game? How many people do you know have been actually reported since the game has come out? None. They added the report system into the game. So that way you could report people who are like teaming with the Raider and stuff like that, right? Okay, cool. Now we have a way to get around people who are teaming up with the Raider. To, ma to make the game worse for other people. Then they decide to just not allow you to play as Raider with your friends anyways. But then keep the report system in. Okay, so was the report system just a fucking lie? Because I've, I've not heard anyone get reported in the whole game since it's come out. So that was just a fucking lie. It was a lie to butter you up for when they actually remove the ability to play with friends and then be the Raider at the same time. Insert the video of Flight React saying, nice, nice, made me happy, made me smile, nice. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. I scrolled through Twitter once and I saw the horrible tweet again. All right. I'm going to read it out. I'm not going to read it out in all caps because I'm not fucking bumbling buffoon. Um, It's a tweet by a guy that says... The, this, the first part's already wrong for fuck's sakes. But it's it's a tweet from a guy that says... The greatest... It's an image of like Gear 5 Luffy from like the teaser trailers of him or some shit. The greatest animation talent of our gen... The greatest animation talent of our generation. Yes, not you, not you, Photoball, not Mappa. Fucking Toei. Have gathered to animate the most iconic transformation in the history of fiction. After August 6, 2023, One Piece changes the anime medium forever. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to say it right now. What kind of dick sucking nigga do you have to be to say some shit like this? I couldn't say anything about this. I couldn't even say this about my brother. I, I could not jack off anybody this hard. This requires new levels of dick sucking and I'm not kidding. It's Dragon Ball fans weren't making Dragon Ball tweets about Ultra Instinct like this. That's how fucking bad this is. When Ultra Instinct was the shit and was trending everywhere and it was crashing Crunchyroll illegal anime with streaming sites fucking porn sites that it was being streamed on no one was dick riding it like this even though it had the validation but then we got we got people here fucking hurting their left and right cheek just trying to fit one piece gear five in their mouth that shit's gonna come out no crunchy roll site's gonna crash no site's gonna crash it's just gonna it's probably not. It's probably gonna like tie for the JJK app. Actually, it's, it's not even gonna tie for the JJK episode because if the, the pacing of the of the hidden inventory arc has been pretty good, so we're probably gonna get um. No, ne no, we're gonna get we're gonna get um. I can't spoil it. God damn it. Okay, well I can't spoil it, but it's 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 at most it's probably gonna tie with the JJK episode if it's the episode I'm thinking of. 
Uh, I'm the honored one and all that stuff, you know. So, if it's not that, then maybe it has a chance, right? Maybe, maybe it has a chance. But even then, like, Dragon Ball was already crashing, like, episodes before the Ultra Instinct one showed up. It was already crashing websites. And One Piece wasn't. When was the last time One Piece... I don't want to be, like, a dick, but, like... When you when when you ride this hard, someone someone needs to take you off that high horse. At this point, someone needs to take you off that high horse, because you've been you've been bucking around on that horse too much. He's gonna fling you off, and you're gonna hurt yourself. So yeah, loving Dragon Ball the Ranters gameplay. Honestly, it's my favorite game. It's my favorite game. Um, someone quote retweeted the cringe One Piece tweet with, I swear only One Piece fans say stupid shit like this on a regular basis, then wonder why the One Piece community gets shit on so much and has such a bad rep. It's just a constant stream of incredibly obnoxious stuff like this. Motherfuckers don't know how to just enjoy something. What what what, what word did I use again to, to describe One Piece fans? Obnoxious? Wow. Wow. It's almost like they're so annoying that people don't even need to hive mind. They just know the exact words to describe them. This isn't like, oh, we all went into a group chat and decided we'd all call you the same thing. Oh, Steed, Steed, Steed Loser OJ. It's like so, something like that is so empty, you would just know someone came up with that in a group chat. But if, it, if everyone comes together and says, hey, dude, you're kind of obnoxious and all from different places, you're fucked because they're right. If everyone from different places comes together and says you're annoying, they're just correct. You just have to, you have to take it. You have to take it because they're correct. That is so sad. I can't imagine being a One Piece fan who isn't annoying because you're getting fucked up. Anytime you're trying to bring up, I really liked the Gear 5 episode today. Everyone in that group chat, everyone in the, in the voice call is going, oh, it's, it's going to be a, a symphony of people groaning and going, oh, great. This guy thinks he can talk now. It's just going to be people going, oh, come on, man. Get this guy out of here, man. Get your ass on, man. It's, it's just going to be people moaning and groaning because you want to just talk about, I really liked today's One Piece episode. Right? New JJK episode comes out. People go, damn, I, I really like the new JJK episode. JJK, I don't think I've heard of that show. Someone also go, oh, I really like the JJK episode. Oh, it was so good. Someone also go, oh, I, don't, I don't think I'm on that part yet. I guess I have to go check out. Another guy will go, oh, anime is for dick sucking losers. You know, their usual voice chat. But if you bring up One Piece, they're going to be like, oh, great. This nigga wants to talk again. That Everyone is sick of One Piece fans shit individually. Just Every single person hates you. Every single person. So if you're a normal One Piece fan, don't even talk about it. You're wasting your time. It's not your fault. It isn't. But what, what would you prefer? People hate you and then hate your series more, which leads into more people hating your series? Or just keeping quiet and letting things naturally mellow down until One Piece isn't filled with annoying dick riders who have nothing to do because Dragon Ball isn't currently airing. Like, come on. Like, I, if I was a One Piece fan, I don't even know what I would do. I would just, I just keep that shit to myself. You would just get bullied for saying you like it now. You could literally go out and say, you know what? I like Xenoverse 2 competitively. And people would be like, all right, calm down. But the second you're like, I like One Piece. What the fuck did you say? It's like... I zoomed in the camera when I did that. <laughs> it's like... Man. It's so rough. It's so rough being a One Piece fan. Because it's like, Gear 5 is literally just like one transformation, and they think it's going to carry the series into new heights. Are you dumb? Ultra Instinct literally exploded all over the internet, and Dragon Ball has just been stagnant, if not going downhill since. Are you just dumb? Like, you just have to be dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Boruto is not better. Okay, no, Boruto is not better than One Piece. We're not capping now. 
I'm not saying One Piece is bad. I'm just saying people are jacking off this transformation way too much. Acting like as if it's going to change anime in general. No, Boruto is unforgivably. I, I know I gave Boruto a chance when I didn't know much about it back in the day, but that shit does not deserve a chance. That shit is not a true sequel. That's like, I think Boruto is worse than DBS, and I'm not kidding. There's a reason why you saw people gassing up Naruto, but no one gassed up Boruto, unless if they're like lonely and they need to make like an interaction tweet or something. No anime characters beating Boruto. And then there's some random panel where Boruto's doing like the generic edgy anime character face. You know, there's, you know, you know, those really obvious interaction tweets that people always make, kind of like all the One Piece ones about One Piece is going to change everything. Gear 5 is more iconic than Super Saiyan. Okay. Well, I mean, I hope you enjoy your likes and your retweets because no one, no one of our brain is actually agreeing with you. No, I won't give Boruto a chance. Look, I don't want to be a hater, but Boruto really does, like, it's actually, like, really unforgivable. Like, it's not. When I... It... Uh, man. I used to think DBS was the worst. Then One Punch Man. And One Punch Man's super bad, don't get me wrong, but... Boruto, oof. Uh -huh. <sighs> Boruto makes more than One Punch Man and more than Dragon Ball look so peak fiction, and I'm not even kidding. They look so good in comparison to Boruto. I know I'm gonna sound like a big hater, and I'm really sorry if you guys like Boruto, but when when I peeped, I was just I was disgusted. You know that one panel of uh Eren? Actually, no, it's not a panel anymore, it's animated. You know that one face Eren has when he says when he found out that humanity was living beyond the, the the walls. He was disappointed. That's me finding out about Boruto. I was just disappointed. You know? It just... It's just not fair. You know? It's not. It really isn't. Dragon Ball gets to carry on its fame even though it becomes worse. One Piece is doing whatever it does. Bleach fell off ages ago. Has a new anime coming out right now. People still kind of don't even care. Naruto went off pretty well, and now it's come back as Boruto, and no one cares. It's like rough. It's like actually rough to be a fan of stuff nowadays because you have to watch it become bad. You know, I think that's why I'm barely a fan of many things anymore because I don't want to. I don't want to see it become bad. So yeah. <laughs> nah, Bleach and Hunter are Hunter are both whack as hell. Okay, damn. <laughs> okay, damn. I don't. I'm not a fan of Bleach, but. It's not like it's not like Boruto level. That Aaron face was me discovering One Piece Twitter. Oh my god. Tip for Aaron made a lot of faces. That's true. That's true. Attack on Titan finna be in the big three. I mean, Attack on Titan is literally about to end. The big three was because all three of them were ongoing, right? So you have to be an ongoing popular series to be part of the big three. I'd say the realistic big three right now is probably My Hero, Chainsaw Man, and JJK. Because Chainsaw Man can have chapters of characters just talking and having character moments and zero fighting. And people still call it peak fiction because it's written so well. Um, JJK is in one of its most popular arcs that it'll probably ever have. And My Hero is also in its final arc. And that they always trend every time. I even made a tweet about this ages ago. Um, I could probably just find it, actually. All right, time to go on Twitter. And go on my own profile. And I probably don't need to scroll back like a little because I, I barely tweet. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes, here it is. So I tweeted, I love how when a new JJK, My Hero Academia, and Chainsaw Man chapter comes out, it's everyone screaming peak fiction. And then when a new Dragon Ball Super chapter comes out, the timeline is pure hell with nobody happy and everyone's just arguing. Because that, that's what Dragon Ball has left us with. Where would you put Mob Psycho? Mob Psycho is very good. It's not currently ongoing, obviously. In fact, it's over completely. But Mob Psycho is super good. Again, bi I think the big three... The reason why they got that title to begin with was, was because they were three big ongoing series. They weren't fucking over. They were ongoing. So you can only be a part of the big three if you are at the big trending series that is currently ongoing. Level 100 Ginyu, it's over. Do I even play this match? Do I just take my piss? I want to take a piss before the stream started and like... 
We've been streaming for three hours. So I've actually I've actually gone I've actually been streaming for over an hour. Over an hour longer than I normally do. Um Wow. Wowzers Bowsers, as they always say. Wowzers Bowsers. Um Yeah. I guess I'll make this the last match. Because I'm I've started to become rant OJ again. See, that rant took up the last hour. It probably did. Yeah, what well, I didn't even say. Uh, Mob Psycho is very good. I think it's I think it's super good. I would say it's probably one of the best animes. It's a very easy anime to recommend to anyone because it's just good. Okay, well, no point in going into the ship now. Might as well head to here. So it's looked like no one's back here. And Guldo can fly, so I probably shouldn't be standing outside like that. Um... Steve, you're mad you have bad taste in animes? Uh, maybe, but I don't watch like 90% of anime because I think most of it is shit. I think the most recent anime I watched other than JJK was just G-Witch, and that's the super big mega popular Gundam show that made Gundam outsell Dragon Ball in 2022. So it's probably, you know, objectively correct if it can beat the hype of fucking Dragon Ball. Do I like Pokemon? Uh, I like it as games, but even then it's like... I think I think Pokemon games are just more enjoyable to me because I play them with friends. If I play them alone, I'd probably think they're really fucking awful. Stop stealing everyone's cave steeds? No. Alright. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, a Dragon Ball. Oh, shit. Uh, can I reach the surface of the- Can I reach the surface of the water? Fuck! Wait, I think I'm dead. Okay. Get- Leave the cave! I'm just dead. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, I wanted to use my skill that costed less time than instant transmission because I didn't want to waste the instant transmission, but there you go. Rocket just spins in a wide-ass circle. Doesn't have the ability to go up. That's that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. It's pretty fun. I think that's fun. So what I mean about Breakers? Breakers is a game where you need to constantly fucking try your fucking ass and dick off to play it. Like, oh, do I waste my instant transmission just to escape a fucking area destruction because I'm in the worst possible place while it's going on? I guess I have to. I guess I have to. No one better revive me. I swear to God. Just let me. Just let me go. Free me. It's a level 100 again. You no. Go away. Go away. Go away. How do I? How do I tell you to go away? Go away. I'll be back. I'll be back. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll be back. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, fuck. No. Which one? Which one is fuck off? Oh my God. I need to find the sticker that is just go away or a character saying run. So that way people stop trying to revive me. Because I just want to... When I play this game, I'm only playing it so I can be the raider. Because that's the fun part. Spoiler alert. Turns out... Turns out... The side that's playable is more fun. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... Now... Now, now this shocks me. So, yeah. Madara stole Pain's whole swag. Did he? In what way? Where's my scouts are picking up right now? Well, the Raider has amazing render distance, so here's me just praying he doesn't see me from a million miles away and decides, Oh, you know what? It's you. Okay. You owe me one chocolate pie. Hey, great. You found another power key. Use it quick. You're my savior. You're my savior. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Don't ban them, Butcher. This dude's hilarious. Wait, what? what's happening? One Piece greater than Infinite Dragon mid Z. What? Does he see me? Oh, he's going to turn around and see me right now. He just saw me. The scouts are so fucking dumb, honestly. It's actually fucking stupid. Man. 
I saw him frozen, so I knew his scouter was out. And the second his legs turned in my direction, he just immediately started moving. Why? Why is it available at every level? You owe me one oh, hey, the search skill that has the fastest cooldown available at every level. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, what's the recharge rate on the Survivor Escape Tools? Uh, you know, like, uh, two to three minutes. Oh. Nice. Everyone's jumping him right now. All right. This shit is so easy. This guy is spamming his chat while he's fighting. This is this is not difficult at all for him. Oh yeah, and he does bonus damage because he uh, he finished his transformation for Rakum. Notice how three people transformed and two of them have already detransformed. One of them is fucking dead. So, yay. Yay. Uh, he won't stop spamming that. Did you play Fate Grand Order? I don't feel like playing a gotcha. Oh yeah, the escape time machine is up. Who the fuck cares, man? I'd rather just, I'd rather just, not the escape, the super time machine is up. But I'd rather just wait for the escape time machine. It's the only fucking chance, anyways. You owe me one chocolate parfait. Do do do. You still voting it up? Now I'm covered in dirt. All right. I'm playing after season two because it stopped being fun to be the survivors. You see, to play vodka and sour patch. What based SAO haters? Was that, was that, was that getting you super attack or the Dragon Balls? All right, well. <laughs> the great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such. One of your allies needs some help. All right, now I'm gonna get kicks with inactivity. Wait. There you go. There you go. I just beat the inactivity allegations. Dragon Ball the Hiders? Yeah, I think it's prop hunt mess all over again. Why am I doing this? I don't need to be up here. I'm just I'm just bored, that's it. I could just win by continuing to hide, but I'm just bored. Also, by the fuck, why the why why would you ever use wall jump when double jump is just a better version of wall jump? Seriously. Can I go up there? I don't think this guy goes that high, right? Well, um, there you go. There's no one in it's kind of hard to hide from a guy with a scouter, so I'm just going to do this shit instead. Frieza, of Did he actually see someone from that far away? He's just having the time of his life. Hello, Ginyu. You you can just you can just kill me. I don't want to be here anymore. You're hiding your true power, aren't you? Did you think I wouldn't notice? <laughs> this fucking guy. Don't tell me this is seven Dragon Balls. Okay. The great Captain Ginyu. Does he want me to fight him? I'm not gonna be able to do shit. No Elf is working that hoe. Gears 5 is better than Gear 5. <laughs> Gears of War 5 is better than Gear. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where the other four Dragon Balls. My teammate doesn't have them, so. Wait, where is my teammate? It says I have one guy alive. Oh, he's at the very back of Zone B? No, Zone B's destroyed. He's at the very back of Zone X, connecting to Zone B. Okay. The mighty Captain Ginyu is he just killing him? Oh, he's not. Okay. Well, if I was him, I'd. <laughs> Shit, alright. 
But if I was the captain, I'd go, uh... I can check this while I'm moting? Oh, what a hard day at work. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Imagine being, like, this strong, though. Just one-handing that fucking bitch. Is that... Hey, don't worry, man. Sometimes I miss the seat as well. Sometimes I don't actually get it into the toilet and I just splashes all over the seat. Shit, sometimes it gets all over the shower curtain. Maybe when I'm feeling a little bit frisky, sometimes the ceiling. The mighty Captain Ginyu will put you in your place. I don't know how that didn't hit me. I'm being serious. I just don't know how that didn't hit me. That's just a Xenoverse 2 fucking hitbox. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not running away. Since escaping isn't a win, right? This guy, He's like drunk trying to shoot beer cans on a fence right now. He's like drunk trying to shoot beer cans on a fence. Oh, he took the guy's fucking body. <laughs> Fine, I'll fight you. Fuck. Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan's blast is just... Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch this. <laughs> Can I make this? I can't. I can't. It'd be too lucky. It'd be too lucky. It'd be too lucky. I If I had one extra escape move, maybe. Maybe. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Wait, how far was he? Because Ginyu's fast as fuck. Oh, he's, yeah, no, I was not going to make it. So anyone who says, yeah, you can easily escape the radar, bro, trust. Two escape moves back to back, and he's right fucking behind me. All right. <laughs> I'll just I'll just go. I'll just go. All right. Yippee. Leave me alone. Fuck off. I need to get my fake win. There we go. I need to get my fake win. Guys, apparently this isn't a win right now. If it's not a win, when escape time machine show up, I'm just never going to help. What's the point? It's not a win. But let's be real. They're going to forget and they're going to call it a win again. You can outrun the radar. The radar in question. And it's just like an image of like fucking Usain Bolt motion, motion blood. So there you go. His name is Noob Master. Oh, 68. This bastard, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Fraudulent? <laughs> St Static, Survi Static Survive donated $2 to Super Chat and said fraudulent win. Nah, what are you talking about? Technically, I actually beat that level 100 Raider. And that's what they're going to put on the, on the win-loss the next time they do it. So, yeah. Steve OJ, King of Frauds confirmed. They're calling me Sukuna in the chat now. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. The community does beg people to play this game. If you want to play it, if you want to play it, play it. Not then, all right, people who play aren't being held at gunpoint around there to play the game. Yeah. Never seen a bigger fraud than Beard OJ. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I didn't know you had paid actors. Yeah, I always have paid actors on my payroll. That's that's see, all the fights I win in Xenoverse are actually paid actors. You're probably thinking, Steed, how did you pay so many different people? I don't know. I just manage it. Every single Xenoverse two cheese I've ever fought was a paid actor. They weren't real. The game is actually flawless. It doesn't have any like I paid Ban and Amco to like to like push a disconnect for like a, for like a frame as I'm playing a match. And random intervals to make it look like it's lagging. Everyone's a paid actor. Do 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 do. The Maharaga Merchant, indeed. Jojo is bad. The story only started getting good at part zero. <laughs> See, do you saw how good Captain? You saw how good. Captain Ginyu is, that's why I have him at level 100. Yeah, I would I would get Ginyu to level 100 too. 
Toxic streamer pays actors to make him look better on stream. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, why do you think Steed had those losses in the last few videos? He forgot to pay the actors. <laughs> He's doing a stream to raise donation cash. To <laughs> I'm actually going to piss myself. You guys need to stop. All right. I think this is a safe place to end the stream because I've been holding in urine for like three hours, which is more than what most people can say. So honestly, I think I'm a, a professional urine holder. Forget I said that. Um, but I think this is a good place to end the stream. I'm just going to read out a few more messages because I can. And then we'll, we'll end, I guess. Um, I remember the time Steed said Kappa can't beat Jiren sleeping naked in the snow if he tried. He can't. So yeah. Toxic British bastard pays fraudulent pansy to win for him colorized. Steed exposed in midst of lying to viewers and faking videos. I need that cash. I can act. I swear. No, you need to be, uh, you need to be, uh, what is it? Can't think of anything. You need to send me a message on Xbox saying some random shit and then I'll go, yeah, all right, I'll pay you. Don't actually say some random shit because if you say like a swear and like Xbox messaging services goes, you what? And disables your communication, I would suck. So yeah, don't, don't do that. Level 29 urine holder. Have a good rest of your day, man. Thank you, blindside. This is the camera lens. I use it when I don't want you guys to see my fuck ugly face. But I'm feeling generous today. So you guys, you guys, I'm spoiling you. Level 50 fraud. Uh, clip it out of context now. You should clip yourself now. All right. Um, speaking of Xbox Ad Me Steed, sure. Um, finish Black Clover. I need to catch up with Black Clover. I watched the movie like yesterday or two days ago. The Sword of the Wizard King. I did watch that yesterday or two days ago. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, it was, it was, it was good. I liked it. They also did the thing that, like, every anime movie does when the anime is ongoing, though. Like, Asta gets a power-up that he shouldn't have at that point in time to beat the guy. Which I... It's, like, fair. It's, like, oh, you want to... The move, the whole point of movies is to, like, generate hype and interest and money. So, obviously, right? So, Asta used the transformation he's not supposed to have. He, he didn't use... It, okay. It's not one that hasn't been shown in the anime. But where the movie takes place, that the power-up he used hasn't been shown. It's not Devil Union. Before anyone gets confused, it's not Devil Union. Uh, that that would happen when Black Clover returns. Assuming they're done animating Boruto's shitty ass, then they'll probably go back to Black Clover. Dude, how can we fight you on Xenoverse 2? If you see me online, then just fight me. If it says in a ranked match, just search ranked. If it says in a player match, just create a player match and wait for me to join it. And I promise you, I'm, I'm always I'm always getting kicked from player matches. When I'm not getting kicked, you'll know because I'm just fighting one guy the whole video. Wait, this guy said nobody but incels likes JoJo? What? There's a female... There's a female JoJo, though. I don't think that's very true. You must have met some bad JoJo... Uh, some bad JoJo fans. If you think only incels like JoJo. Because... Because... There's a lot of, like... There's a lot of, like, well-treated, like, female characters in JoJo. If you said something like, only incels like Seven Deadly Sins, I would understand because female characters get treated horribly in that show. Right? But, yeah. Anyway, I think this is a good place to uh, end the stream. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. That's not look at that because seeing kids before that death ball over and over again is going to hurt my eyes um so yeah i think this is a good place to end the stream so i see you guys already clipped pro urine by the way very mature bastards all right i'll see you bastards another time how about that so um honestly this i this was a, this was a cool stream I, I had fun yeah i just you know 
was rant rant OJ for a lot of it. But I actually had fun ranting, which is pretty rare because normally I don't, but I just keep going because I'm like, ah, the viewers are entertained. Screw it, just keep going. But yeah, uh, I actually had fun ranting about stuff and making jokes uh, in this stream. So yeah. So I'll see you level 49s another time. How about that, huh? I'll see you level 49s another time. Um. So yeah, I'll be it. Love you all and uh, peace.